The year is 1879, but the history is not our own. Presenting Deadlands Reloaded. The guns of the Civil War are silent thanks to a ceasefire between North and South. There was the Great Quake of 68. A superfuel called Ghost Rock is discovered. The United States is divided into six nations. But one thing remains the same. You live by the gun, you die by the gun. Recap the uh, posse was distracted at the end of last session by one Jorge Moro. I'll say. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe it was Moro. <laughs> <laughs> Moro. And Courtney Moro. And it was uh, Arizona and Dawson. I had uh, re familiarized myself with the names. Who raced back to the freight car, intercepted the two men who were destroying Elijah's uh, staff. Stash. Uh, Dawson blew one guy's leg off pretty much. There was a great deal of frustration because I tried to follow the adventures written a little more than I needed to. You tried to throw me off a train with nobody there to help you? If you uh, gave us all the correct information. So in the, in the end, Courtney got off the train as far as you guys are concerned. And you went, you spent the first half alert. you spent the first half of the night traipsing around Salina, Kansas trying to help Elijah replace uh, missing parts. You had minimal success. He had a few improvised items he took with him, but nothing much else. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to run through your, your Benny recap all, what do you got? Two reds, one white. Uh, two blues, one two, two white. Well, you're a regular voice. Oh, two blue, one white. Well, in character now. Oh, very good. I got two red and two white. Three whites and a legendary. Can anybody drop a mic Two white? No. One's red. Wait. Mikey, three blue. I got six. Yeah. Mikey, you have uh, two red and a white. Not bad. Even when he's not here, he does well. Mm. <laughs> those reds are rough. Every time we pull one of those, the bad guy gets its many, though. Yeah, but it's also 1d6. Who wants to hold them for Mikey? Oh, I'll hold them for Mikey. I'm going to throw three cake chips. Okay, you're ready. Hang on. Two are I'm going to get one, too. I'm ready. Oh, Woo! That works. Yeah. Thank you. I, <laughs> nice. Yes, oh, anybody want to give me an egg roll? Ready? Good. Yeah, well, I was say, that's not fair. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> It'll fly straight. Oh, I think I dropped away. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> I add a little bit of tidbit at the end of the write-up for those of you who didn't read it. The sheriff had placed deputies guarding the freight car until your return, mm. since you made such a big stink. Darn right. Uh, you return. Men who make big stink. <laughs> Uh, sitting on pot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys return. The deputy say thanks for keeping us up all night. And Don't you get paid by the hour? And leave. Thanks for not taking into Just jail a person, a southerner who was masquerading as a union worker. She gets to walk off this train scot free. I figure I can probably pick the pocket. They're, they're, they're out of sight, out of mind. They ain't listen to you for They ain't listen to the word you're saying. You know, boys, with this level of security... They're not the only ones. <laughs> I'm thinking that I could probably pick the pockets of half the people in the dining car. We could make some money here. Some real money. You can't do that, Arizona. Why not? 
These people are rich. They don't need that money. You know who needs that money, Robert Harris? You need that money, my friend. <laughs> you are a starving artist. And our friend over here, Warren Cooper, Cooper Warren, he needs this money. That's right. That's Making right. Forty dollars a day. That's not enough. That's a boatload of money. <laughs> <laughs> we got bills to pay. For, for the record. As written, it's 50 to 100. So I just started cheap. Uh, <laughs> see, we should have done our research on that. Your negotiation sucks. My, well, I started I, at 30. You guys did good. <laughs> yeah, we get you almost up to your minimum. <laughs> I can't have you too rich. Mm. $40 a day at all. Wow. Although, although, yeah, although now that you're heading by things are going for price. That's like a that's <laughs> teacher's salary today. <laughs> <laughs> how many days off do you get a year? How many sick days do you get a year? I'm Period. All right. So it's midnight. What's the plan? Elijah turns into his pumpkin. Sleeping quarters. <laughs> now, just to That's confirm, me. we are in Salinas. You are in Salina, Kansas. We, we know that this is a place that is riddled with crime, banditos, and regulators. To be and Kansas, K Kansas, in this time frame and this alternate history, is split between north and south. Okay. It, it, it didn't join either, but the people are all over we the place. Kansas. And so uh, we also know that it's most dangerous at night. That's usually when the raids take place. And we are in a train full of rich people with, the horse with in. inventions. And it's just, like it's just past midnight. Do not feed or get wet. And it's tornado season. <laughs> <laughs> Do not feed or get wet. Okay, Grimman. That's good on Chris. I don't like the sound of this. So I'm thinking we probably want to keep a watch. Do you guys agree with that? I would like to keep Sounds my like watch. Sounds like you volunteered to go first, Arizona. Hold on. I'll Hold go on. first. Hold on a second. Did we get paid yet? For I got forty dollars. Yeah, we're, we should be getting twenty dollars a day. You get half. You get your half. You, you get half of it every night, and then at the end, you get the, the, the rest of what you owe. Haven't we been guarding for twenty-four hours already? Actually, haven't we been bodyguarding for about? Well, I don't know. Consid now? Considering the state of Arizona, 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 Arizona sent the money for everybody. Didn't pay you? <laughs> oh, you want your, you want your money? Yeah, how about giving me money right now? Oh, all right. Here you go. One for you, one, two for me. Three for you, four, five for me. There you go. I just had to ask. Sorry about that. I guess you all want your money. I think, I think this is day three. Yeah. So it'd be $60. You should have $60, $60 in your pocket. We should Burn a hole in your pocket. Oh, I think I paid you last time, too, so don't go at it. Don't go get it all. No, you gave us $40. Yeah, so we can shoot another 20 So you get 20. Yeah, so 20, 20 for that. that. If, and if you, if you, maybe, Joel, you forgot to add your 40. So you I got my 40. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joel didn't forget anything. 40 or 60. Total 60. You, so 20 for the day. You're getting plus 20. Actually, you're, you're, you're just giving us a... What are you doing? Sheriff keeps a ledger. You paid me 25, and then you upped yours. 15. You got your money, Mikey? Yeah, I'm good. All right. I have so much money, I don't know what to do with. It's okay. Don't you have another gun to buy? You can give it to me, Dawson. No, I, I have all my dead brother's weapons and money. <laughs> I heard he was a stubborn ass. <laughs> Rich he was, ass. He, he was dense like a tree. According to, <laughs> according to Mama. So I figure we got to keep two things safe, right? We got Mr. Banks and we got his invention. Bailey. Oh, uh, Mr. Bailey. John Bailey. <laughs> That's catchy. And, uh, and we have his inventions. We could. Uh, uh, it's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. Oh, I <laughs> we could put someone in front of his sleeping quarters. We could put somebody on top of the train, and maybe somebody guarding the, the it's equipment. It's the the it's train. The, I, I, would, I mean, on top of the train, you'd be able to see everything. Yeah. Except with having, except with chest cars right. inside kind of and be seen by everything. Uh, it's dark. What kind of moon? Ha uh, I think it was a. No, there was a. It's a waxing moon. No, it was, what was it? What was it when you were doing the? Uh, it was a new moon. That was a new moon. So it's waxing gibbous. Yeah, so it's just it's just starting to shed the light. Maybe I can shut up now. <clears throat> so if we put if we put uh, three people, one on top of the train, one in front of the door, and then one outside by the window, maybe. Well, we, uh, the uh, three sleep. Yeah, right. the other three sleep. And then we, we sleep where out. nearby. In your ever so comfortable quarters. Yeah. Uh, Very luxurious quarters we got there. I, I, you, so I should remember. take first watch on top of the train. <laughs> Maybe you know what? I might bunk up on the train on top of the train tonight. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Arizona, I gotta feel that train going to fall asleep on top of the train if we leave him up there by himself. He does look a bit unsteady. I agree with you, Dustin. 
Why, you very fine on top of the horse. You very fine with very wine? Great. You know, over here, this is your sleeping Air quarters. Horse. If you if you load up roll 20, you'll see your sleeping quarters. I'm looking at it. The, the top one or the bottom one? What do I do? Find you out more. You be patient. It takes it's 20 loaded. seconds. It's loaded. Find out more. Sorry. Did you say be patient? It looks like a, it looks like a Chinese apartment building. What, what is that? Angry birds? <laughs> what did you get, Adam? I don't know. Is this some random stranger's... Uh... <laughs> no, not <laughs> loading for real. Okay. For real, no. I just clicked. Ah, just wait, just wait. It's loading. Don't click on anything. I think no. it's still. Mike, do you have your roll twenty loaded up? Roger. Uh, oh, no, no, that is over. Josh. Work over. With computers much over there. What's yeah. that? Does he work with? Joe, why don't you go take? <laughs> yeah. Joe, take over. Oh, it's an ad. It's an ad. There you go. There you go. Oh, okay. You should take over, and they don't know what to do. Ad? Are you British? Same result. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that would be your. Should we watch ads on the tennis? Course. That's horrible. That is that's, downright uncomfortable. That's a luggage rack on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, anybody go sleep in the uh, battleship? On the battleship? We were in the submarine the other day. Looks, just like, looks just like that, oh, sleeping really? in the battleship. Yeah. We visited the uh, nuclear submarine um, out in... Uh, nuclear vessels? Nuclear vessels. Tell me you said that. Tell me you said that. You see how in this, this photo that you provided us, Josh, there's like three bunks, I think. It's the same space, except there's four bunks. Yeah. We, all we, we were on the submarine down in... Uh, uh, what Maryland. Is it? Maryland. It was just unbelievable. All right, so. I told the girls, I'm like, where are you sleeping tonight? It must have stunk. Don't have the Can you imagine a bunch of guys in there? Uh, oh, no. Kendall's. All right. All right, so who is on watch and who is playing Candy Crusher? That's Jeff. <laughs> so we've got, here's what we've got. On top of the train. I was playing it on a seven-inch show. We have uh, Wong Fei, who's awake, probably drunk out of his mind. Oh, yes, sir. And we have Trey, who's decided probably wisely. We have bunk to up top, on yeah. top of the train. So he can kick you to wake you up and you can roll off. Oh, I can't wait for that. He's, you're just dying to get thrown off the top of that train, aren't you? <laughs> uh, Arizona off, will be outside the window to the sleeping quarters for um, uh, Mr. Banks. Bailey. Bailey. Uh, no, it's not Banks and it's not Bailey. It, it it's is Bailey. It's Elijah Bailey. Are you thinking of, Car of Banks from... Uh... Elijah G. Bailey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the Banks family? It's entirely possible. Judge Banks. <laughs> So that's where he's going to be, on the ground, in front of the door. Okay. I mean, in front of the window. Robert, Warren, Boston, where are you guys going to be? Oh, that's me right there in the picture. Okay, Glad you're bucking. I'm going to the, uh, the, the car with uh, all the gadgets in it. <coughs> okay, you can't get in the freight car. They've locked that back up. So you can guard one side of the freight car, or you got yep. on top of it. I'm going to guard uh, one side of the freight car. I'm assuming we've got, that... We've got somebody on top of the train, right? So. Yes. One guy sleeping on the train, one guy stumbling around drunk on top. I'm assuming you're taking a spot between the oh, which one? Oh, sleeping which? car and the freight car, not between the two freight cars. Th yes, that's correct. Okay. Warren? I presume it's necessary for me to stay here with the group. No. Since, since he normally just goes and bunks out in the, uh, the wide open with a campfire. It's your choice. If that's, if that's going <laughs> to disrupt our storyline. Don't miss the train. <laughs> <laughs> no, do what your do what your character would do. I think Set that's your good. Well, he said, he said, I, I, I'm, go, I'm going up over there, up by that ridge over there. You're welcome to join me. If you do, then all, all good, but that's where I'm going. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll wake you up when uh, my shift is up. If you want to pull a guard duty later tonight. That's fair enough. All right. Uh, if he's going up in the ridge, that's like far. I mean, I, I would think I'm, that's I'm thinking a hundred yards or 150 yards away. Why don't you be close enough so that if you hear a gun go off, it'll wake you up in your sleep? How's that? Well, I mean, the, tr the train is in the middle of is kind of closer to the center of town. This is, this is Kansas. It's yeah, but it's still a town. Yeah, you're, you're in town. <laughs> Sorry, no problem. And there's no hills in Kansas. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's no, there are no ridges in Kansas. <laughs> you want to sleep on top, so you're kind of kind of out in the open. On top of what? On top oh, of the train. That's right. Oh. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> you are a little uh, pretty. You have a campfire up there. Don't, yeah, don't, yeah, okay. a, don't put a campfire on there. They can sing Kumbaya. Yeah, the harmonica. Oh, which I'm going to bring here one of these nights. I look forward to that. That's going to be awesome. I get my extra Benny. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so on top of the train, you have Wong Fei walking around. Are you staying on just a freight car, or are you doing the back and forth the whole train? Uh, one back oh, and forth okay. from each uh, cart. So my my train, and then... One over. Okay. So, yeah, not the whole so, thing. So, you have both freight cars and the lesser sleeping car. Correct. Uh, 
Trey, what one are you sleeping on top of? Uh, I think the one that was right next to... You're sleeping right in the middle. Yeah. You two, Warren? Song. You two? Uh, uh, Where are you sleeping? I thought I was sleeping on the train. Which car? Wait, I'm just sleeping on top of a car. Uh, the train car. Does my low light the one, the one vision train is. help okay. out? <laughs> Does my low light vision help out? <laughs> that, you, you're not. You're not a halfling or elf. <laughs> Who's coming in? Or dwarf? Adam's the dwarf, and he's in house. Where, where, where's Robert? For the entire right campaign, he had a character at low light vision. He kept asking if it helped. It, yes. never, it never did. It and, never you know, did. in D&D, it, it, it was purely for aesthetics. Yeah. It really did anything. <laughs> well, it depends on the DM. Once, once, you, hit third, once right. you hit third level and everywhere when you have clothes. I mean, I've used it once or twice over the year and a half. All right, and <laughs> Arizona is camped outside Soul. Bailey's room. When Soul had it, too, right. without me. Window or room? Are you on the oh, train or outside of the train? I'm on the Soul, ground. You have low light vision. I'm outside the train. Outside the train, in sure front of his window. Yeah. Okay, so nobody's in the train. That's what I was trying to say. I thought that's the words that actually came out of my mouth. Somebody by the door. Somebody by the door? I think we said somebody's by his door. No, Warren went to sleep in the bunk. Didn't maybe Dawson? No, I'm, I'm on top of the train. Yes, I'm sorry. Robert went to sleep in the bunk. Well, you. Dad, like, oh, bunk sleeping. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to get a straight so I, can, so I can abuse them. I think that there should be somebody. That's why we're being so obtuse about it. <laughs> I think that there should be somebody in front of Mr. Banks' door. Bailey. Mr. Bailey's door and Mr. Banks' door. Cover them both. That's what I say. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can move in front of his door. <laughs> When <laughs> nobody's on, no, you know, as long as somebody's on top of the freight car. Are you patrol? How is this bike? You're patrolling the cars. I love it. I'm patrolling the cars. <laughs> you just walk it back and forth. That's great. I'm wearing. I'm wearing out the carpet. Every time you walk by, Adam put pop. Adam pokes you. <laughs> Hell no, I'm sleeping. Oh no, actually, you poke Adam every time you walk by. Oh. <laughs> it's it's like I came here here to replace your brother or something. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. I need Wong Fei and Arizona to make notice checks. Uh, uh. I am unskilled in notice. This uh. is why it's not automatic. At our oh, party. do you have the giant wild though? Yeah. It's successful in notice checks. Just careful when you throw that thing. Notice. Four. Well, put somebody's eye out. Just bigger than your eye. Get oh, <laughs> I got a zero. You made it. You don't. You, you. You're watching yeah. Bailey take it off. Guys, guys don't usually have zeros on. Uh, when you do minus two, for 17. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, I do. Are you trained to notice? What doesn't he notice? Uh, yeah. No, Long Fei yeah. watched the maw flying over, <laughs> <laughs> over the locomotive. Count, counting the beats per second. <laughs> Long Fei noticed a lot for a drunk guy. Wong, at, at the edge of Long Fei's vision, he sees several men... Um, Trying to sneak up toward the locomotive. Towards the locomotive? Towards the locomotive. Mm. Are they trying to fix what we unfixed earlier in the night, in the day? I'm in reach of uh, Warren and Trey. Yep. And if you stop really loud, you might get some other attention. Or, I mean, you could run up two cars and talk down on the ground to him. Okay, so he's up two cars from me. But okay. I'm not on the train, I'm on the ground. Right, you're on the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wake up these two. Okay. Well, Warren's hard to wake up. <laughs> He's an eight year old cantator. <laughs> <laughs> Wong Fei, wet willy. Warren, <laughs> winky winky. Wet Wong Fei? That's not nice. Uh, yeah, so I wake these guys. Tell them what I see. Two guys. Two guys. Uh, over six guys. Six. Fourteen guys. Hard to tell. Three each. I walk over to uh, Arizona. <laughs> Arizona, are you down there? What the hell is that? <laughs> no, I can't. It's only me. Don't worry. What the hell are you doing? You just threw up over the side of the train? Forty men. Forty? <laughs> with rifles, I think. What coming the? towards us. We better run for it. We got no chance. Let's get the hell out of here. I, honestly, the appropriate ratio for non-wild cards to a party member is three to one. Are you kidding me? No. So in theory, you should feel they got three guys. Really? Before they take you up. Only three? Wow. Have you seen my character sheet? <laughs> That's something. That's very interesting. Yeah, is, that, is that at level one? Yep. Because you're wild cards and they're not. Because they take one wound and they're down. Is the window where everybody is right below me? No. You were, you were on the freight car. Okay. Then there was the passenger car for regular people, which okay. is where Robert is sleeping. Uh, oh, then there was the fancy passenger car where... Wore, uh, 
Dawson is inside, and Arizona is out. So I'm, I'm done because I can't. I don't want to take any more actions. That's that's too much. Well, you can kick them awake and then run forward if you want. I'll give you. You have an action and a move. Oh, are we in combat? Are we in, in initiative now? No, but I'm we'll do. The we'll do then. That's good. I'll go forward and stomp on the uh, the train. All right. So you make it up to the. Uh, With my secret stomp. Stop! Stop! stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, Trey Warren. He's he's kicking you around. So I make a check or am I up? You you can be awake. Tell me what you want to do. Ignore him. Get up and move. Oh, okay. So I Stay where you are, just told in you. case. Told you. You pulled the legendary chip again? No. No. no that roll. He keeps it. Oh, he keeps it once he pulls I it. I wake up. Yes. I'm going to stay on my belly. I'm going to look, listen, and feel. You feel a train. You feel metal under your hands. Danny, are you give okay? Me, give me your notice check. Are you okay? Are you okay, Ian? <laughs> are you okay? I should probably make a bigger check to see if I wake up. There you go. Since I am a uh, heart sleeper. Oh, oh, Warren's a heavy sleeper. Learn well, something new about Warren. Nine. So you, you get your wild die too. Warren. Minus four. What? Two. Is, uh, two. What, what, is, what, are you, what are you supposed to roll against? Bigger. Bigger. So he needs a four. Right. So you Why you take two off? He's a heavy sleeper. Oh, you also oh, okay. Your heavy sleeper is minus four. Sorry. He's wearing a sleeper. Okay. You're, so your heavy bigger. You also get a, a, a wild die. I can't quite do that right. Unless that's start possible. over again. <laughs> so my so my uh, my minor hindrance minus four notice to wake up minus four vigor to resist rolls made to stay awake. Is any of that going to apply here? Yes. Minus four vigor to uh, minus four notice to wake up. All right. So my negative one negative five. Okay. So mm-hmm. Warren just rolls over and grunts at you. No. <laughs> Wait, that's notice to wake up. That's like hearing somebody. But if he's being yeah, actively he, prodded, would that still be a minus also, four? That's his hindrance. That, that could be staying awake. That's mm-hmm. his hindrance, though. So. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's it. Is that a major or a minor? It's a minor. Maybe you have to you try know, that again. I would say if there's a gunshot or something, he'll wake up. Yeah, we're going right. Wong Fei woke yeah. him up very handily. He just rolled over and fell asleep again <laughs> a second and a half later. Yeah, just like Jeff. <laughs> okay. In real life. Yeah, you get a little hee <laughs> oh, That'll be Jeff in about... 30 minutes? That's quite a hindrance. Uh, well, yeah, about then. That's uh, why it's called a hindrance. Trey also thinks he sees activity further up the line. Trey says he... I stay in my belly so that I can get an aiming at these people. Okay. Um, By aiming, I mean... Do you, you didn't see anything. I just got advised that 40 men are coming. Yeah. So Arizona is going to wake the train. He's going to draw his Lamat revolver, and he's going to aim into the air, and he's going to fire up a blast, and he's going to shout... Unknown people at the front of the train. Wake up! Wake up! He did to get told there were forty people at the front of the train. There's <laughs> probably the guy who can't count. There's forty of them. <laughs> so he's gonna make a racket and fire a shot off. I'm gonna hold on. Uh, Dawson, you hear uh, Arizona shooting his gun off outside, screaming something about the front of the train. I immediately draw my pistols and start running towards the front of the train. Up. All right. Warren, you're now awake. <laughs> he rolls over and says, I want to ride the pony. <laughs> you want to ride the pony? <laughs> okay, uh, Robert, give me a bigger check to see if you will help. <laughs> Robert, bigger check. Bigger. Don't, don't worry, Wang Fei will let you ride his pony anytime you want. Oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Speaking of pony. Oh, I can't find it. Damn it. Four. I wake up. You wake up. No thanks. Girl who sits uh, on jockey's lap, get hot tip. Remember that. <laughs> Very good information. Oh my. oh, my. All right, so I'm going to deal some cards now. So Robert hears something about 40 people, and he climbs, climbs out. Oh, I'm going to do this now. I had set this up already, Bob. I want to be smart now. Oh, this is exciting. We're going to get a chance to see the cards set up, huh? By the way, thanks for all the people watching uh, in uh, the U.K., all two of you. No pithy remark. I've got nothing. Ah, fair order. Got it. There you go. I, although I would like to mash my bangers. I mean, I would this like is what some they call a banger in the mouth. Now, Josh, there's a trick. If you if you click and drag and highlight all of them so they're all selected, then right click, you can add them all to the turn order of all of them. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, I will figure that out like at my last session. Sorry, for, for, for our last you game. Were from. Uh, Zambia. <laughs> How do I add a monster? Now, to add a monster, you need to add an icon 
So you need to add an avatar for the monster. And then right click and add turn for the monster. Monster? We, it's not everything now. Okay. That is my cleaning ladies. I would go everything because you're going to get it. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Cousin's sister's daughter or something like that. So what does that make? Uh, <laughs> absolutely absolutely nothing. nothing. That's amazing. You're a cleaning lady? Me? At, at the office. Oh. At work. Oh. <laughs> it's called his wife. I <laughs> know. Thank goodness my wife doesn't watch this podcast or I'd be a dead man in a week. <laughs> I, know I have a cleaning well, lady. I have her email address. I have a cleaning lady. I dress in a skirt. <laughs> I look sexy doing it. I will say. How much, how much can I pay to clean my house? <laughs> so you just have to do it when I'm home. <laughs> I do have someone who comes in once a month. Loyola Race. And her like 15 sisters and grandkids. And she does a fantastic job. What did, what did she say about me, Bob? Come on, say it. She, 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 she and like three other uh, gals who were in the house cleaning one day. They all speak Portuguese, but that's pretty close to Spanish. So I can understand. Mm -hmm. And they saw a picture of Chris. Mm. And they, they were talking to each other. <laughs> the who's that geezer? They're dusting, you know. Yep. And one of them turns to the other and goes, Oh, look at him. He is handsome. Look at that one. And then I met him. And then I met him. Remember? Oh, they said it in person. In person. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Right. In yeah. Portuguese. Anyway, they're cleaning my pipes. Room. <laughs> Rooms. Yeah. They were like, Oh, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Is that long thing? <laughs> okay, here it is. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, make the magic happen. Oh, Whoa, look, look at, at that. that. And it orders it for you as well. Yes, you could you, you, you set that to order. That's fantastic. I don't, it's not in order on our screen. Oh, now, oh, now it is, though! Is that, look at that. Wait a sec, is that Mike with an ace? I'm gonna That's Trey with an ace. Trey with the ace. I got Trey, I got a jack. If you make the add, expand the window... You still did better than the bad ace. guys. Wait, Mike, got did you get jack? I got jack. Oh, shoot, man. All right. Do Andrew and Beth know this? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they do. <laughs> All right, so uh, Trey, you're up. No, no, I was just trying not to laugh. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. We, we've had a terrible start. Let's try to focus. I'm going oh, to yes. look around as best as I can. Okay. Uh, I am lying on top of the freight car. On top of the freight car. I assume I'm pointing towards one direction or the other. I assume you're, 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 you're looking toward the locomotive where long face of the problem was. Correct. Are I'm you here? Good? I have my weapon drawn. Okay. And I'm looking. You do it Wednesday morning. All right, so yeah. give me a, another notice check then, I guess. Tuesday night, right? If you get a raise, that will give you more information. If you don't, you'll just see motion. That's why we're going to do it. Have it ready. Oh, for snap. India. 14. India. Engines? Engines. Good. I'm going to try shooting that. It's the oh, closest okay. one that are, are you going to play on okay. Runaway Park, too? Is that okay? Um, no. Oh, Mondays, no. we got back uh, to school night on Monday. You want to wait until the following Are you firing weekend? with a pistol or a rifle or what? Well, no matter. Is it following weekend? What about? Nice. The pistol. The pistolero. Mm. Following weekend. But I got it. I got it. So two October, no. Okay. Double tap? Double tap? Nope. Five. Mm. Let's do it then. Five. Five. Okay, so you're yeah. in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're a little light. I have a great, two. great uh, notice check of where the people were, though. Mm. All right, I'm going to give you credit for the notice check in this case. That's a good point. Uh, they have. A, oh, well, you, you're, you're, you're doing a shooting roll. See, so it's a hit. So roll your damage. <laughs> is it the one with the Kentucky rifle? She shoots up in the air and like 100 yards away and made him. Oh, by the way, they're in the floor. <laughs> those tokens. Cupcakes. Yeah, they're on the floor. I roll my. Excuse me. Uh, oh, wild die with it. Oh, uh, you do not roll wildlife for damage, do you? No. How long have you guys been trying to roll? No, this is the first time I ever hit. Oh, yeah, I forgot. 12 damage. Huh? 12 damage, okay. Wow, well done. Damn. Ooh, yeah, dude, toughness of six. That's a wound. That's a, that's a shaking and a wound. Shaking and a wound, I agree. We drop one. GED dead. So we totally did. We don't know how many there are. Trey was not able to see how many there were? No. Mm. There's a lot of activity out there. Mm. Trey can't count that high. He's smart. All right. Uh, Arizona, next up. Dawson on deck. Do we see if anybody, if lights are going on inside the train? For people still here. Here's a little activity. But most people don't want to get involved. They want to hide out. Mm. You can tell they're cowering and they're afraid. So nobody's looking right now, it seems. It's dark and nobody's kind of looking. Actually, many people closing their windows. Good. Really? Well, then, this might be the one time where 
Arizona might have the ability to take advantage of certain arcane powers uh, in the open. So uh, what he's going to try to do is summon forth some arcane energy and uh, using a spare deck of cards that he has on his person, he will take three and flick them as hard as he can at three different targets. Out of cupcakes or color? The cards are going to transform into spectral, ghostly looking yeah, bolts, and maybe uh, they might hit. Who can say? Oh. Are there three targets that he can see, though, is the question. Give me a notice check. Sure. Alright. Did you send them? Notice is untrained. It's not going to be good. Ooh, fine. A little explosion. Uh, seven. 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 seven minus two is a five. Alright, so you see, at least you see two. Okay. <laughs> then he will fire two at one and one sure. at the other. So it is a spell casting roll, which is E6. We're all watching you. I don't know if you guys are watching me, but I, I don't, it doesn't look like I'm observed by anybody else. You ever seen the Mythbusters where Adam is throwing the cards into the... Yeah, into the hat? Into, no, into no, the... Uh, sorry, it's into, a, into the, 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 blast, dummy. the blast stuff. This is, uh, this is right now. It's Arizona. It is turned into special minions and race for I don't remember that one. Seven on the first... Seven on the first. And a miss on number two. And a five on number three. So use the spell casting as if it's a shooting roll. So each guy got hit once. So, oh uh, no, I only hit, oh yeah, there's only two of them and I hit each of them once. So the damage is 2d6 magical. The tree six right in front of you, guys. And I wanted to tell them they noticed your. No, we're just shooting. Oh, oh double oh, explosion. The description, they're sneaking. 12 plus. Drop one. 12 plus 8. So 20 on the first. Wow. <laughs> you drop them, you powderize them. Mortalize them. And 3 on number 2. Mortalize them. <laughs> the spectral energy smashes into the one of them. He shakes for a brief instant. Collapses to the ground. The other one it nicks his arm. You can see him stagger as he's running, but he keeps on going. They're running. Huh? Does he look scared by the fact that this ghostly? They're really not cool with what's going on. Mm. So well, actually, they're, they're probably cooler than the guys on the train. I mean, these are these are people in touch with the spirits old, of the land, old school Indians. So that wouldn't scare them at all or intimidate them that they just got hit by it. It would certainly it would certainly cause some angst amongst them. Okay, but it's not something that. Is alien to them to the, to the point of fleeing immediate panic. Understood. Okay. And he's gonna he's gonna duck for oh. cover, behind inside between one of the trains. This is gonna get interesting. Else. <laughs> well done. Dawson is uh, making his way up through the train. Does he see anything as he's looking out the windows as he's moving up? Uh, the, since you're in the passenger car, there aren't really windows to see out of because you're kind of in the center hallway. Yep. You can get to the end of the car and look out. I'll say you actually have to run, so give me a, your your pace plus a D six. Uh, nine. All right, you usually make it out of the car. Do you run down the steps and step out into the open, or do you stop and look around to see what's going on? Good question. No, 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 no. Just to, just to clarify, you are talking to Dawson, not Dwight. <laughs> so, um, I just want to just want to clarify that. Just so the white is dead. D, D. Before I run down the stairs and into the fray, or I stop and survey the situation. All right, so that that, that will be the end of your turn unless you're going to do multi action. So give me a, a notice check. I'm good with that right there. So give me a notice check. Uh, seven. Make out of the eating. Um. You see some some definite motion out there in, in the shadows. It's hard for you to pinpoint right now, but you can see there. You you think there's a fair number of people moving around out there. All right, uh, Wong Fei, you're on top of the train. Can I make it down? Uh, slide down the side of the train to the ground. Do you want to give me an agility check, or do you uh, want to keep trying to get all the way up to the locomotive to see if they get if they're there, or what do you want to no, do? No, I want to slide down the train. Cool. Look at him smiling. Tell me, tell me something cool. Come on, describe it coolly. Whoa. Well, make your roll, then tell me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Even if you feel uh, really cool, you might still get a penny. Hold on, I get you. Is that a D8 there, Bob? <laughs> yeah. All right. Does it have points on it? You can use Benny if you have to. More than one. 
Uh, wow, solid three. Mm. Oh, Benny. It. Wait, no, if you use the blue, it adds. That lets you re-roll. Right. The blue doesn't add, Bob. Oh, you can add uh, the legend adds. Oh, the blue adds, adds, yeah. blue adds uh, five. Okay, five. Oh, well so, Wong Fei easily slides down the car. Oh, my. Oh, you tell me, you tell me. Of course. Uh, Wong Fei stumbles, does a somersault, slides down, lands down on his feet. Okay. You can still keep moving if you want, since that your really your, your main action was to get off the train. So you still have your move. Do you want to continue? Ahead. How far? How far away? How many? Uh, uh let's do. There's. Uh, you were on the freight car. You made it to the first pat, the first sleeper. You still got a little ways to go. You, you you can get up to maybe. You can close the distance to maybe there's a car and a half to the locomotive. There's All right, I, I ready my baton. Blink. No, I don't open it. Ready. Uh, and I make my way up to as far as I can, six, okay. six pace. Soon. Oh, okay. Okay, <clears throat> too far, Robert, too far away. you were awake. You heard gunshots. I go to a place where I can... Get? I don't know, do the windows open in here? I, wake up I, I don't know. believe there are windows in there from the All right, pictures. I want to get to the end of the car, so I, I want to get in between some car, two cars. All right, you, you guys, based on your desire to guard the freight car, your bunks were closer to the back of the... Sleeper car? That would make sense? Yeah, that sure. Makes sense. So you're closer to the back. You have to kind of loop, you know, do a little butt hook. You're going to come up between the freight car and the passenger car, and the sleeper okay. car? It's, it's clo that's the closest exit to you. Yeah, so that's where I'll go, and I'll kind of peer around the... All right, so <laughs> you notice. Get a tomahawk in the head. <laughs> Everyone. Hello. Warren, you are on deck. I was going to train. Oh, wait, am I missing a die? Damn. Where did it go? Four. Four. All right. So you see a bunch of motion up ahead. There's no way you could get a beat out of any of it. If you want, you can continue to advance. If you want a little bit. Okay. I want to advance back through the car, even if I can't make it all the way to the okay. other end of the car this turn. Okay. I don't. I'm not stepping outside to go. <laughs> that's that's a perfectly <laughs> clever and, and, and smart, intelligent decision. Warren. Who's he talking to? Still asleep. Oh, he, uh, he wakes up now. You've heard a couple of gunshots. Yeah, first, yeah. first, first, first. Gunshots. Yeah. Well, Martial instincts. Yeah. Uh, wakes so up and grabs his gun. The last oh, there's not much else he can do, though. Oh, you you can get him started. Straight whiskey. Go get apple juice. Well, all right. He'll, he can wake up, grab, grab his gun, and look for Trey. Trey's already up. Two cars ahead of you. Yeah. I'm not moving, though. We're all gone. We're shooting. Oh, oh you know. Yeah, I no, I was just... I was so starting he'll, to front hand so front he'll, um, he'll, he'll, he'll just move <laughs> towards Trey. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So Trey and Warren are standing on top of the car. Thank so you. I'm, sure Thank I'm you. not standing. I'm lying down on the belly. Okay? With no, thanks. Okay. All right. Um, out of the darkness, at least... Oh. Oh. Ten arrows oh. coming your direction, guys. Say it again now. Uh, a plethora of arrows coming your direction. I heard plethora. Yep. I'm sorry. Do you, do you know what the plethora is? Shooting is a D6. That is a D6. You guys didn't tell me that this what was from Joseph that was coming. Did you train him? You <laughs> no, unfortunately, he trained General okay. Custer. We're, we're he taught General Boston. Custer everything he knows about Indians. <laughs> okay, Trey, Trey's on his belly. He's not really a target. Robert's inside. He's not really a target. Dawson, can't you give him the peace sign? Arizona is between cars, so he has to cover it at minus two to hit. Hey, I'm, I'm enjoying Long Fate is, did not take cover at the end of his turn. And Warren is on top of the cars, but he's not lying prone, so he is uh, available as a target. That's good it's a very good thing I said seven <laughs> times to Joshi that I was lying prone. <laughs> yeah. lying prone. Well, Dawson is, is no How many times he told me that I was up on my feet? <laughs> Try as I might. Thank God. Uh, Dawson, no, much like Arizona, Arizona, has Arizona? covered, so he's a minus two to hit. But uh, yes, in between two train cars, uh, you like, wouldn't I have no. full cover? I mean, if they're at the front, it depends. I lock the and door. And I'm farther back. In sure, the I'll give you guys change. four. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to show someone to come feet. back to engage you, so they they may cut that radius down. Throw it out. What? What? That cupcake has disappeared. Can't Dawson get a Who's all right? pipe bomb? I'm just going to give it all right. <laughs> all right, so you should, you should get two attacks. <laughs> do you need sure. further? Do you need yeah, that further? one was only like a four. Oh, and one other question. Uh, Given that it's dark outside, further, would uh, there be a, a minus to their ability to hit as well? Well, where you are is a little better. Is out. Okay. <laughs> being, being a station. 
Okay. Sugar. You get a minus four, Bob. Be happy. Love it. Delicious. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Arizona. This is arrows plunk down around you. Phew. Um, some of this stuff here. Mm -hmm. What did that do? Dwight, Dawson, Dawson. Yeah. Arrows hit the yeah. metal right here. You don't hit you. Warren. Of course. Warren has minus two because he's. Oh, so they can hit me right now. So you're able to miss you. Yes. Long Fei. Long Fei takes an arrow. Son of a. Did you used to be an adventurer? <laughs> <laughs> Did it hit his knee? Did the arrow hit his knee? <laughs> Trust me, people on the internet right now are dying laughing. <laughs> Do you know what I find ironic? Oh, there it is. Never mind. The gear it lists bow and tomahawk. It doesn't actually list an arrow as damage. The bow is the, deals the arrow damage. <laughs> bow is 2d6. I find that ironic. Wow, they, they threw their bow. You now they can't shoot anymore. Rain on your wedding day? Wow, same. 14. That's the same as a bullet. You know what I find ironic? What am I looking That's at here? The definition of well, I'm looking at 14 damage. What's your I'm looking at that blue Benny. What's your <laughs> toughness? Uh, hold on. Five. Your toughness is five, so the fourteen minus five is equal to nine. So right now, mm -hmm. what you're so looking at, a race. it's a shaken and yep. two wounds. No. Wow, two wounds. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a lot. Yeah, so it's one arrow. You can choose right now yep. to try to soak, so oh. that you don't take this damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, no. Soak. Um. And soak is against spirit or vigor. Soak is vigor. It's not your choice. We keep saying that. I don't know where that ever know. came from. I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I think I was listening to a podcast where they were doing that. Vigor. So soak is vigor. So what is your vigor? Six. All right. So to soak, what you have to do is um, expend a Benny, and then you get to roll your wild dice plus 86. Mm -hmm. And depending on how every four that you roll, it above once you hit four, you remove one. Mm -hmm. And any four points above four, so you get a wound. <laughs> okay. So you want to roll I believe. And then it's so expend your Benny first. Now, when he loses the blue, does he get the plus six left. just to yeah. reroll? roll No. You, if you, now he's trying to get, like, so a normal Benny? Yeah. So. so, okay. So the blue is just going to let you re-roll. Rather, roll your soak, right? Because you have to yeah. spend the Benny to soak. Yeah. Mm. All right. Okay, so roll high. Roll really high. Mm. Ooh. Did you explode on one? Yeah. Nice. Seven. Okay. So right now, your soak rolls a seven. You needed a four to get rid of... One wound, mm. so that's good. And you needed an eight to get rid of two wounds. So with this current soak roll, the only one wound. You would be shaken with one wound. You'd be like stunned. With However, if you spend that other Benny, you get to roll a d6, Sorry. and you're guaranteed yeah. to get at least a one. All right, I think it's worth it. Yeah. And and it's a blue, so mm -hmm. so I get to roll two d. Uh, oh, ju just one. This is adding to your. You're your adding roll. to your seven now. Whatever oh, okay. you roll here adds to your seven. You can explode on this. Five. So you have 12. Well, which so works now, out really nicely. You just make it. Yeah, that gets rid four, of... Four, four, four. Both of your wounds. So I'm just shaking. Well, I think you only have to get rid of both the wounds just to get rid of shaking. Okay, cool. Either so, way. Yeah. You have to give you up the pennies, but now you're not injured. Yeah. And now you are without pennies for the rest of the night. Oh, I thought I had that right on the table. Ready? Oof. That's it done. So Wong Fei... I was waiting for Glenn the cupcake. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. Arrow comes darting out of the darkness at Wong Fei. He dodges to the side. It, it, it goes right through. It right under his arm. Right through his clothes. Mm. Gives Never him a burn from the from the uh, the feather burns him, but that nothing too. significant. Ooh. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I dodged a bullet. Oh, wait a minute, an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> and the wild card will target Arizona. I don't like this. He's rolling again. Eight. I was minus four. Mm -hmm. My eight minus four is four, so it's still a hit. Yep, it's a hit. Two d six. Oh, you get a what? Toughness of four. Wow. When you shoot, they just need a four to hit somebody. Eleven. Oh boy. Fifteen. Wonderful. So I'm gonna soak that. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of bennies over. Here's my first benny. <laughs> this is like the the big giant uruk eye. Pulling back at the bow, fire <laughs> <laughs> little two chase wrong bow action. I'm kind of imagining a wooden Indian that gives out a cigar that's pulling back a bow right now. Uh, my vigor is a D6. Now I'm picturing Scooby Doo. <laughs> what are we all chasing each other through the chain cart? 
like okay. Because so on my first bigger roll, I rolled a four. So all that would do for me, or so cool. That would reduce a wound. That, that would reduce, reduce a wound. For how many wounds am I looking at right now? I gave you 15 damage. And my toughness is five. So it's two wounds. Two, two wounds. wounds. So, oh, um, did it hit me in the torso? We don't know yet. Oh, oh why do you have armor on? I have leather jerkin thing. So my toughness might be a six. I'll give it a six. All right. So 11. So that's two wounds and a shaken right now. So I got rid of one wound with my roll, and I would be shaken with one wound. But I'm going to use a Benny on that to try to add six to it. So, hey, so Josh gets the whole Benny from the, fake, from the pot. He does. I'm using a red Benny. There it is. And so now I'm at a four. And add four, it's an eight. So that soaks the two wounds you just took. And now I'm just shaken. And no, I'm I thought you soaked all your wounds. <laughs> Didn't you say you were not shaken? No, I don't know. Where's the cheat sheet? Where's my cheat sheet? I don't think it's on your cheat sheet. Yeah. All right, that's your job. Look that up. I have a robot right here if you want. I have one too. So either I'm shaken or I'm not shaken. All righty. So then I got to order the stuff right. And there we are. Wow, that is that just tastes horrible. Was Whoa! Horrible. Trey got the red Joker. Yeah. Who got the Joker? Oh, just wait. That's my text. Just wait. Yeah. Trey got the red Joker. Oh, well done, Trey. There's going to be some, shuffling, uh, gonna be some red blood on here. Every day I'm oh, shuffling. Nice. I, I love my little, my little cardstock thing over there. Ooh, the but this is just too easy. <laughs> and everybody can see it. Even Mikey. Yeah. Was I able to see the uh, guy who shot me? Bob has trouble seeing it, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, Peter, I came out of the dark. If you want to give me a quick notice roll, I'll tell you if you saw him or not. Said this is too easy. Three. Did not notice. Nope. Arrow came out of the dark. Punched you in the shoulder. Yep. Passed right through. All right, Trey. I am going to follow my lead. Because that was the only one who took people out last turn. I took somebody out. Out for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep advancing, you're, you're, it gets easier for you to see them. You didn't see the magic. So that's good. And where you are, you have cover. So you're always, you're always going to have at least a, a minus two to be hit. Because you're lying prone. I'm going to fire. You're going to advance or just fire? I will There's going to be a point where you can't shoot what's in front of the locomotive. I will crawl forward okay. to the edge of my car okay. and fire. Okay. And you're going to double tap to add a plus one, plus mm-hmm. one? Tap, tap, tap. Sure, why not? Make sure you guys are taking off your ammo. Okay. I already took two off for the last round. I don't have to count ammo. I'm the GM. I'm the marshal. I'm the marshal. Three. That's two shots right. randomly go off into the darkness. With the bonus, all right. But with the ricochet... Oh, plus two. Joker, plus two. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh! Thank you. You could do multi-action. Two double taps. He, he already said what he was going to do. He already rolled it. There you go. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you just barely make pins that plus two? Yeah. You minus two after that. All right. So you hit damage. Plus two to damage. How many wild dice do I roll for damage? Six. Nine. <laughs> it's plus three. Thirteen. Because you double tap. With your plus two? Oh. Plus my plus two. Plus one for double tap? Fifteen, sixteen damage. All right, uh, you hear another guy hit the ground. <laughs> How about you take out the wild card? You shot at me. That'd be nice. <laughs> I assume it's I hard did. to target a, a specific person. I assume I did. How many did you see? Just one. Oh. I took out because wow. I was focused. Focused. Very. You were focused. Oh, unlike one fed. <gasps> I had just got up to get that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robert. Uh, Robert will continue on through the uh, oops, sorry, through the car. All right, so you're you've passed through the regular sleeper, regular sleeper car, and then you pass through the special sleeper car. No, I, I go to the end of the sleeper car and then have my head out of the car. Okay. Notice. Um, this is man. I hate me to continually make notice checks, but it's dark. I mean, yeah. you, know, you, you don't know what to say. Here we 12. Go. All right, so you 14. See, was it Kathy Malone? So you see Not Kathy Malone. Um, at least eight or ten guys out Who's there. first name is Tina? So well, you can kind of make out one is giving Sam? them, one is kind of pointed and giving orders. Kathy. And there's definitely three or four that are heading to the locomotive okay. carrying something. Kathy is just... Not, just not focused with their bows. Her looks certain. Right. That person? Malone. The one you're talking about. Um... How many non wild cards did you say for, for one of us? Three. At least three. I already took two up. 
It doesn't mean it doesn't mean I have a ratio. <laughs> uh, I have the answer, by the way. If you soak all of your wounds, you also shake the shaken. But if you are wounded at all after you're soaking, then you keep the shaking. Okay, so you are not shaken. Okay. So if I, I already got, then I wouldn't have been you're good. shaking. Good. Yeah, that's true. You didn't need to roll so high. Tell me about these guys were carrying something. There's four of them carrying something. Does it take all four? Of no, them no, no, no. They're, they, they are focused on some of the tasks. They each have a little like, like a bundle they're carrying with them. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. You don't say. You don't say. You've turned into that weird 1970s cat cartoon character that's yeah. in a race. You don't say. I'm going to yell up well. at the... Hmm. <coughs> yes, that I'm going to yell towards the front of the train. Dick Dastard. Towards those in the direction of those guys who are carrying their bundles. All right. Uh, I'm going to particularly focus on one random one of them and say, Hey, you cut that fuse too short! <laughs> I'm trying to do a smart trick on him. Oh, that's good. Oh my god, somebody's using a trick! Yeah. Taunt, remember that? You, you guys don't want me fighting. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have shooting? I do. We'll, we'll talk it's about... It's a oh, D minus two. <laughs> it, it's a D4, but if I get a one on either of my die, I shoot you. <laughs> oh, that's a curse. That's not good. Curses. So I have to. I don't know. It's a smarts trick. I don't know if it's posed or if my TN is four. So far, I've got a six. Uh, eight. They don't speak English. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps, perhaps I was so so forceful. My voice alone distracted. Hello. What did you have her told? Hello, eight. GM. Eight, with your raise, I will give it the two. You still distracted. What distracted him? <laughs> You know, the good, the bad. I just made it. I went up ugly at that one. Depending on your view, that was good. You just failed your own personal smarts check. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. 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 All right, so you've shaken one. Yeah, that's my turn. Oh, and I'm if I was protruding about before, I duck. If I, whatever movement I have left, I used to get behind as much cover as possible. All right, under the train. That's good. You guys are learning how to duck for cover. That's actually yes. I love that you can shoot, try. move, and then continue. Was the there a dragon motion. parts last yeah. round? Are you shuffling every round, not just until the jokers come? You know, you're only supposed to shuffle when the joker comes out. Yeah. Was I joker thought I saw a dragon hearts last round. There's probably dragon diamonds and you didn't notice. Are you cheating? Would you like to step outside, sir? So two kind of hearts in there? <laughs> I'll take all five of you. <laughs> <laughs> not Mikey, though. We're not moving. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> He's chewing something over there. All right. Uh, another barrage of arrows comes in. To where Arizona? To towards Arizona? How does they come before me? Arizona, they harmlessly plunk off. Wait, off. is it? Wait, Warren and Dawson. Oh, no. Oh, I see. The Jack of Hearts. Maybe they yep. don't see me? Wong Fei. Ten. Hit with a raise. Dude, oh, you that's a, a D6 plus six. I don't six. know what that is. Two D3 D6. Oh. I don't know. That's a grenade. That's a grenade. Uh, you say many minutes. Here comes the damage, buddy. Yes. Okay. Fifteen. That's again. Two wounds, right. and, uh, two wounds and stun. Why don't you soak that? Yeah. Yes, you can. He's all out of bennies. How are you I have, because I have command. Oh. So I can... You can I can spend one of my bennies for you. Oh, that what a leader! Awesome. What a sweetheart! A natural leader. Of Wait a minute, are you a warlord? <laughs> Maybe that's a very warlord. Maybe. Maybe. I roll well, Chris. Roll high. <laughs> Chris, roll high, buddy. Yeah, roll high. Because I only have white bennies in my oh. legendary. Oh, I can't wait to see you guys pour the healing potion. Roll high. Mm. The one full ghost. Two fours. Rock. That's an eight. Yeah. That's a four. That's no, a it's four. an eight. It's a four. How long so you have you have Yahtzee. <laughs> Yahtzee. All right, so right now you can soak one wound. Yeah. Which did you? Should, should oh, one wound is shaken. If you have a wound, every roll you make is minus one. If you have two wounds, every roll you make is minus two. Good. No, he can't add. You don't. You can't give him anything to add. You can no, it'll just be a, it'll be a straight reroll. I got a wound, and you can I, don't, I, I, could, I could have him my legendary. I don't even remember what no. this thing does. No, I don't do that. That's I'll take a wound. Don't worry about it. So I don't know bad. how many more bennies do you need to say for yourself, too. <laughs> I don't plan on getting shot. Mm -hmm. That's I don't think I'm sure either. Who's got the healing potion? Oh, Trey's got the healing potion. But Wong Fei will never drink it. Not, not intentionally. Oh, yeah. 
killed. <laughs> oh. Well, eventually, maybe. <laughs> or just bug it. It could be worse. You so get the force in your flask. One wound yeah. Yeah. Shaking it. Yeah, 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 everything's my deal. Who cares? Exactly. What's and you're like? If you pour it in the flask, you won't care. Pour it in the flask. Uh, <laughs> one with a thousand train. Post miss him. It'll be alright. What do you think? Uh, Mikey. Post miss you. Alright. Warren, you're up. I only made this character myself. You have so. You're up. I'm standing there. I've got a gun in my hands. Yep. I can see these guys, right? Barely. Sort of. If you run forward, you'll see them better. Why? Can I shoot them better? Yes. So can I? So I can, I'm going to run forward with a what? blood screaming scream. Mm. A blood screaming yell. Blood screaming scream of blood. And blood curling yell. He, he's got. Oh, where where did Mikey go? <laughs> he's the Dawson. This this is how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll stand there and tap a sword. Dawson, well, oh, here's Dawson. Dawson is so not impressed he went back in the train. <laughs> <laughs> Until you see somebody laying close to this range. one. So your shooting roll and your wild fanning. Wildlife. Oh, you're fanning. fanning. Perfect, yes. And do you know the rules for fanning? He has a sword. Okay. You all would tell him. So six shots. Yep. All six. Ooh. And because he has an edge called hip shooting, because mm. he's so cool, <laughs> yeah. his... Uh, his reductions Again. are only minus Those two. Are bad. Yeah, minus minus four. Four. That's so you get six shots. And I'm trained in shooting. Two. Oh, very nice. So I might have a chance of hitting somebody. So you have to roll. And six. if I hit a bystander, it's just another bad gun. <laughs> somebody shouldn't have been there. I think oh, oh. Dawson's not in the way, right? Okay, so you you were shooting six bullets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get so so you got a D six. For your wild eye, yeah, and then six more d6. That's right. Oh, what's your shooting? What's your shooting skill? You want some d6? What's your shooting skill? <laughs> okay, oh. so sorry, it's a d6 and then six d4. Six d4s. Yeah. Six d4s. Six 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 no, no, one d6. Your wild eye only counts one time for the action. So you get one d6, and then each of your shots is a d4. So you'll have one d6 and six d4s. I do. Oh, right. And here you go. I'll give you my d4. You don't want one. Oh, right, 64. 64 more. what sense? Everybody's contributing. You, you don't well, I'm married. <laughs> Thank you. You want to roll a one? <laughs> this is pretty awesome. I look forward to seeing how this plays out. Well, with his um, two games. Check it out, Dawson. What's that? I worry as he now. I wait till Dawson's here. This is a great thing to do when you get a, a, a joker. Can I roll that yeah. dice at once? You know, it's all printed down the side. Four, one, two, one, one, six. What? One, one, three, one. Four, so three, I exploded three. on one. You two got of these? six ones. Yes. That's, that's I'm trying to see, figure out what we're doing. I sure got a lot of ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the ones hit. No. So that was a seven. A seven and a six. Seven seven minus six. two was a five and a four. Right. So two hit. Not bad. Right, I'm thinking about it. Take a six. That's a third. That's thirty percent with a D four. Now the question really is: oh, If I roll four ones, are there any innocent bystanders? It could be any there? of these guys if they wanted to cover. So I'm going to give you a slack on that one. <laughs> Wait, how could I? But the bystanders would have to be in front of me, not on the side of me or behind it's, me. It's not like he has a grim servant to death. I'm, I'm not, even I'm, if the guy's 100 yards I'm away, he's rolling like punch. You somehow still that's, that's what happens if you roll double ones. If, if you roll double ones, then you accidentally hit somebody who's like behind Joel, you. Joel, there's like a big kick where he goes this. So, all right, so Joel hits uh, two. He hits two. Warren, Warren drops two. Oh, Ooh. You know, did you have to roll for damage? Do I have to roll for damage? Oh, yeah, you're all for damage, sorry. So that's a um, 2d6. Two D, two D I think you have a Peacemaker, so it's plus one as well. Peacemaker? I do. <laughs> What's your weapon? What's your weapon? My no, he's got the Colt Dragoon. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got that, he's got that wussy little Navy Colt. Does it, do you know if that's a 2d6 plus one or just a 2d6? Is that a ball and powder gun? I think, I think the Dragoon is just 2d6, but... That one was all 2d6. Up. Is that a powder gun, Mike? Did you explode yeah. them both? Six, so six. he's got to take oh, like two lives. Oh, 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 the first guy blew up, you blew it half. Yeah, he's got to reload. You keep rolling, you, you explode. Yeah, there's no, there's no point to continue yeah. rolling. Like that. I like that, Dawson. Six, six. He shoots that guy. You know, you, you've got to roll. You've got to. You've got a pea shooter just yeah, shot him in half. All right, this is your next damage roll. Six all together. Six all together. They have a six toughness. Good. 
So they're okay. oh the shaken one that that um, is up at the uh, car. If you guys happen to notice one guy who looks distracted. Yeah, no, turn no, it, the, anybody the really. shots with a great big e-haw. Get me roll your d12. Get out of sight. I want to see you if he hits the leader. If he rolls a 12, I'll, I'll say he hit the leader. Okay. Nope. Okay. Get out of sight if you can. Drop down. Hide. Drop is a free action. Can I drop down now. Or is that you drop from? Thanks. What? You have no. You 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 have to spend next turn reloading. I think, I think it's actually... So I guess it makes sense for me to drop down now. Mm. All right, I Dawson. Oh, I got to... Oh, are you guys going to get a shake shaken? Shaken? Dawson versus Warren for head count? You're going to have to roll to get shaken first. What's that, a bigger? So Dawson realizes that these are fellow Indians, realizing it's probably not the most opportune time to you know, jump out and be like, yo, hey, no, brothers. Natural leader. I forget what the bonus um, is for natural leader. Oh, no. He realizes that his duty yeah, is uh, with, with, the, with the guys that he's with as well as to protect the train. So he's got both of his uh, guns out, and he is going to shoot at whatever he can see that's close to him. Uh, don't shoot me. <laughs> won't face shaking. <laughs> that won't, that won't Dawson, those are Indians down there. <laughs> don't shoot. Don't shoot, your, <laughs> don't shoot your friends down there. Those are the bad Indians. <laughs> have you ever met a good Indian? I mean, really. Well, uh, uh, he, he could attempt to negotiate. You didn't seem to have trouble shooting his friends down there. But all right, go ahead. Give you a shoot. Up your hand. Give a big howl. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> the internet comes. <laughs> I'm aiming, I'm aiming to wound them, not to kill them. Okay, if you do that, it is a called shot. Which yes, I know. An additional minus two. Yep, was I that know. just the superhero setting where you can elect to do non-lethal damage? That was superhero I setting. I thought that was everything. In Shoot them all and kill them. Uh, all right. So you pull off two rounds? Indeed, you do that too. Are you targeting one guy or two? Uh, two. Okay. Well, that, that, that sucks. I exploded on my D8 for the shooting. Shots. So you're going to add an extra D6 to your... Well, you needed that. Four ones, a two... Ah. You needed that, because you needed at least a six to hit. Yeah. So eight and a five for the first guy, minus two. Yeah. All right, so you're going to roll an extra D6 for damage. Yep. <laughs> Oops. I know. And the other guy... Yeah, oh, Christ, now I exploded on the D6. Oh, oh guard. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Could get any worse. All right, so, so that's, that's a 10 minus 2, two that's an 8. All right, so you both hit with, both them hit with a raise. So, yep, you, you, so I, I will say you do not plus, lethal damage. That's 3D6 plus 1 for each guy. Do you really want to roll that? Uh, do, do I have to? I have to. I, right? I, don't, I, don't, I don't, if you're, if you're shooting for non-lethal damage, I don't think it's worth doing, because you'll kill them. Okay. So if you want to roll, you can. Well, you know what? Look, here's the reality. I was attempting to shoot them, to stop them. Like, you know, if they kept running and they ran into my bullet. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what about? Come here. Come here. Come here. First guy takes 13. Down in the pile of blood. Wow. Pile of blood. Well, and the really next guy is going to take nine. Unless you were in zero grinder. He takes ten. He goes down two, but he is not dead. Oh. Well, he's, he has a toughness of six. Mm-hmm. So if he did nine damage. Oh, yeah. Ten, ten, ten damage. Then that does knock him down. That's, that's four more. That's a shaking plus a wound. So that mm-hmm. kills him. She dropped two more. All right. So, um, before I duck back into my little compartment between the two uh, log cars, um, I scream up to the marshal and I said, Now that's how you do it. Two bullets, two dead. Right. Not six bullets, two dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dawson's doing percentage hits. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch hey, that one? Figures don't lie. The last one more. He, uh, he said, That's how you do it, Marshall. You take two people down with two bullets, not two people down with six bullets. This sounds. This sounds like a uh, what was that show? Uh, just uh, sounds like Marshall. I'll be shooting next round, and you'll be reloading. Watch it all the time. At least if you're going to the same round, one, round, one round reload, he plays the. Uh, all right, Arizona. You can't die. The uh, high flavor. Yellow fish. Arizona. The uh, leader part two. Extraordinary men. Yeah. I, never saw that. I was disappointed greatly by that. 
I heard that song. What? I thought it was all hurt. I haven't seen it. I watch it all the time. Oh, it's disappointing. It's got a minus four. Yeah. Well, it's not common. Right? You're okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we're Am arrow. I able to see him this time? No, the arrow rattles around there. No, you pulled back to, to not get hit. Okay. You're cowering. You're cowering inside. Fair you enough. Out. There's some. There's some Indian yelling going on now. Some sort of uh, instruction. War chant. Mm. Yeah. None of you understand it. Oh. Is it anything I might understand? No. Far different dialect. So but now, not only do we have, they they are they are a northern tribe. Yes. So we're a little closer, like and they're chanting. So I should be able to see a group of them. I won't say chanting. I'll say it's the the yeah. the leader yell instructions. So you, you can localize them a little better now. Okay. All right. So I have to shuffle. Every day I'm. Sure Wait, not shuffle yet, because you had. Uh, Didn't I go? I haven't gone yet. Long, oh, I'm sorry. Wall phase up. And Arizona, and Arizona as well. Wait, long time. You just had your really? You, you just skipping me like you that? You just got huh? shot at. Oh. All right, I got to get rid of shaking. Good luck. Roll eight or higher. Four. That'll get rid of your shaking. All right. Well, you had a wound. I had a wound. You have a plus one from my command. Five. Oh yeah, that's right. So I had five. So you you have no shaking, but you still have your wound. That's right. Yes, yeah. and you and you do not get your action this turn. If you, you can move up to half your pace. Yeah, you can. You might want to crawl into the train or something. Uh, can I do? Can I do my thing? If he's shaken, can he do his powers? Well, he's That's not shaken right. now. I'm sorry. Oh, he's not shaken now. No, I've got rolled. He's not shaken, but he, he's, his he action was to remove shaken. shaken. That's right. But he can still move up to half of his pace per he can't he power. being shaken yeah. this turn. But Duck and cover. Duck, Duck cover. and cover. You're rolling under the tray. Hide uh, under the desk. Yes. Okay, Wong Fei drops to the ground, rolls under the, the uh, train. Oh, this sucks. Arizona. Uh, so no, I can see the leader. I can see yeah, what. You can see where the leader is. I mean, there's a, there's a couple there, but you can, he was giving orders. So they're tightly. They're they're pretty close to each other, I guess. It, it, it's dark, so you have a general idea. You see motion. All right. Uh, I think uh, Arizona quickly looks. Is there are there any other people other than the people he's been traveling with that no. have come out of the train? By the way, you guys have seen Arizona throw cards at Magically Glow. You might want to investigate that at some point. Did they all. It was dark. They were on there the are, there, are still, there are still three running toward the locomotive, mm -hmm. carrying bundles. Oh, you got to blow them up. Okay. He reaches into his pocket, and he produces a deck of cards, and he flings them at the people. The whole deck? 52 pickup. Oh, at least you can feel How many decks do you carry? <laughs> uh, I have about 21 decks. Well, now I have 20 decks. Because I was going to say, you already threw three cards. Wouldn't that leave you with... But apparently not. You got to... What a big, and that what a is big a five, so that will be a hit. Okay. Um, and suddenly, yeah, the wind hard. starts to pull up in gusts, and the dust is pulled up, and a tremendous windstorm miraculously appears, uh, medium burst. Giving them cover. Uh, in yeah. the vicinity of them. I don't know how many are captured, but hopefully those three... I don't sure for one there were three that were still right with the well, uh, dynamite. Kansas. Okay, so the people who are around. who are captured, they all now uh, are shaken. Okay. And, oh, I don't know if they have to roll. That was like the worst time. Well, no, because that guy dropped out earlier. Oh, okay. If you're already shaken, you get shaken again. That's a wound, by the way. Oh. Unless you have certain... I would, I would say for something that deals damage. Yeah, I think it actually says that. You can't, like, do two taunts and kill somebody. Right. But a windstorm can kill you. Uh, it's movable burst area whirlwind. Each round, anyone in the area oh must make a vigor roll or be shaken. They are blinded, and they have minus. And anything uh, tr coming out of or going in has a minus two to ranged attacks. Four and four. That's success. And eight. Three successes. So no shaken. Uh, but they are now blinded. Um, so they can't see at all, so they take a hefty negative. You are such a glasses half full guy. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, negative And I was just getting ready to say thanks for doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so they can't fire arrows at us now. No, and they can't really see where they're supposed to place dynamite. Mm. Yeah. So, and uh, I have oh, to... Oh, it's dynamite, is it? I said that a minute ago, you were sort of paying attention. You know, didn't you hear me taunt them by telling them they cut the fuse too short? I've never heard, I've never heard dynamite. I heard sax. And that's it. That's it for Arizona. He ducks back. back. Yes, please. He ducks back into the shadows. Maybe a oh, stealth roll. He'll try to use some stealth Ooh. to stay in the shadows this time. So All right. Now, maybe. You have. You your cover. Genetic. Okay. Me too. Oh, eight, and eight, uh, eight. fifteen on the stealth roll. Whoa! You're like the white shadow. 
So we can't still see you. Oh, I don't have a lot of PowerPoints left now, though. That just went through almost all of them. Aye, aye, aye. Wow, you got a lot Is of big cards here. Uh, was your original, were your first three cards pulled? Yeah. Nice. All right, yeah. Robert. Dawson, Why is Wong Fei always at the end? Because men who drink... Slow reflex. Oh, you're not at the end, buddy. You and me are both men at the end again. Men who drink while working out have slow reflex. Robert. Robert, quit trying to give philosophy and do something. You're oh, up, it's my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. You're I up, thought you, I already had a turn. You drew a king of um, clubs. Uh, hearing the, the war cry that the savages have whooped and hollered toward each other, Robert attempts to mimic one of them and, and attempts to sow confusion amongst the the people, the, the, the attack, attacking uh, natives. What do we roll for that? <laughs> I'm sorry, what do you want to do again? I, I, miss, I, was, I was trying to figure out when they run away. <laughs> I, 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 I heard their, uh, their whooping and hollering, okay. and I'm going to attempt to mimic that. In the smart to, Okay. You have no idea what you're saying. Though. Not a certain clue. I don't even know if I'm getting it right. <laughs> Who likes long hair? Who likes that? Alright, that one actually didn't finish rolling. Oh, no, it did. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. he whoops and he hollers and he's trying like hell to get it right, but he doesn't remember what they said. <laughs> Are you and he is in Did you succeed? No. Okay, so you you just spew nothing out of your mouth. <laughs> I, do, I end up doing the Zini yell. Oh, the Zini yell, nice. <laughs> Dawson. <laughs> what, Coach, mm -hmm. You're up, buddy. Well, I should have fired a shot. Oh, well, I'm up again? Awesome. Come on, yeah, don't you have, so to, don't you have this thing on your, on your screen there? The turn order? Mm. Mm. Oh, you know what? It's, it's really, you know what? No. It's really hard to see the picture. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to get the names on your screen. I don't know why they don't have them. Oh, okay. Um,. Dawson pulls out his two cold peacemakers, spins them around on his fingers, grabs the handles, fires a few more shots. As he as he screams out, "Watch this, Warden!" <laughs> First guy explodes on the six. Oh boy. I got Jeff sleeping. I got Adam on his phone. I got Chris on his phone. I got Joel on his phone. I, I'm trying to attempt private communication amongst the group here. <laughs> so the, the first guy I get a 10, Josh? Okay, first guy I hit with a raise. Extra D6 damage. So the second guy... That's another one down. I got killed. Eight. Eight. <laughs> you almost got killed. The next guy I hit like with a 12. Arrow, also hit with a raise. Give me a, roll me a D12. If you Tell me what you roll. No, roll me a d12 first. Uh, roll a d12 first? Yep. This is a random event for me. Hold, hold on, we got to get a d12 out. Uh, Finish him off, Joel. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Six. Alright, roll again, because you have two shots. Okay. Sorry. And a ten. Okay, you don't have the leader. Okay. Um, the guy at first damage? Is a 14. And the second guy's damage is an 11. Alright, so Dawson drops two more. Nice work, Dawson. Oh, uh, Warren. Yeah, I'm going to be able to top that. <laughs> you have to reload anyway. Yeah. Hey, Dawson, I'll get six of them next round. <laughs> Well, you could. I was gonna say you might, you might actually catch up to me, Warden, if you can get all six of them. You could fire again at an additional minus two, because it'd be a multi-action penalty. What? Hey, uh, Dawson, uh, you also realize that you are carrying a potion of quickness. Yes. Now, now this fight is. Uh, yes. Oh. Oh. By the way, Dawson. Um. At this point. Um. Backs into uh, backs into in between the cars again. All right. All right. So at this point, the uh, you hear some more Indian language barking commands, and you can tell that they're 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 taking off at this point. They're heading for the hills. The sounds are getting quieter. Yeah, they're, they're, they they know they're outgunned. You see, as soon as it's my turn, they took off. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to have to face that powerful Colt Dragoon again. That's right. So you guys That's took right. you guys took out nine in three rounds. They, they, they wanted you to save your ammo, Warden, because you couldn't hit him anyway. 
Well, Arizona will try to keep the, uh, for expending a PowerPoint, he can try to keep the windstorm on them, and so they have to roll a vigor check to see if they're shaken so they can't run away. We can capture these guys whose language we don't speak and interrogate them. Do they still have their thumbs? <laughs> is, there, is, there, is, there, is there any point to waste the, to use the PowerPoint? I, I, I just... Loot, extra free dynamite, whatever they're wearing on them that could be turned in. All right, roll a box. You spend the PowerPoint, I have to roll bigger. Well, it's combination I'd like hammer to get a bow and arrow for the ward. Maybe he could hit something with that. <laughs> oh! Bigger box? Uh, yeah, it's bigger. Just the standard bigger check. Uh, I could even show him how to use it. In case one failed, one forward. succeeded with a raise. Okay, so he's good. Right. Uh, the one that Adam had shaken is, is, is not with the group. So there's okay. one more. And he made a five, so you got one. All right, that's fine. I'll take that. All right, so there's nine bodies in one guy on the ground is a mess. All right. We'll, uh, we'll search the bodies. I'm going to get me a yeah, bow and arrow for the board. <laughs> Arizona's going to do his thing and search a couple of bodies as well. All right, you do find two sticks of dynamite on the one shaking guy. Oh, okay. So, um, do they have any nice moccasins or anything? They each have tomahawks and bow and arrow. I'm going to get me a bow and arrow for the warden because he can use that. Hmm. That's just a shoot and roll, right? You don't you need any. He's a warden. <laughs> he did. <laughs> warden, warden, whatever. He's, you know. <laughs> Austin, you see that body there? That's split in two. There, I did that. You did that. <laughs> just, just the one, right? Just, you got just that one. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Did you get just that one? Nope. I got two. Uh, well, how many shots? How many shots did that take you, sir? That was two for six. Two for six. I got you. I'm four for four. You let me know. Wow, that's a Hall of Famer in baseball terms. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and let me know how that bow and arrow works out for you there, Ward. Arizona will try to collect discreetly as many of the discarded playing cards as he can so that there's less evidence. So you threw 52, 53, 55 cards. 50, well, yeah, whatever survived. Whatever you can find. One D ten times percentage. Actually, I was thinking a D four for the first digit. Oh, nice. And then uh, D ten for the second. Sure. Thirty two. Okay. Thirty two cards picked up. Yes. <laughs> Which <Sure>. cards? <laughs> <laughs> the death card. Yes. Or All right. As you, as you scroll them around, they came back into your hand. Oh, that's cool. Right that's everybody? some nice trapping, but not in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Yeah. Uh, we tie up the one that is still alive. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the action happens in about 20 seconds. Okay. It, you know, it's, it's, it, each round is six seconds, so we're yeah. 20 seconds in. A couple minutes later, the sheriff and a couple of his deputies come running over. No need to take us. They, re they recognize uh, them as, uh, they were actually Sioux Indians, like, you recognize them as Sioux. As Sioux? Yes. Okay. So? S I O U X, <laughs> not S U E. <laughs> and uh, apparently, there's been some issue with Waka Yanka Tanki. Oh, God geez. bless oh, you, you Sheriff. You're sneezing right there. So he and his men have been causing some issues around here. Well, it looks like uh, he doesn't have nearly as many men left now. You know, when I was reading up on Salinas, uh, this was not in the tourist guide. I didn't see anything about being attacked in the middle of the night by a oh. bunch of wild, angry Indians. Well, so what they've been trying to, to do... Can I put that in there? Sorry. Wakayangatanki's name means Big Thunder. <laughs> I was thinking something totally different. Oh, really now? Really. He was trying, he's been trying to take over his, the leadership of his tribe. Mm -hmm. And if, I'm guessing by all his dynamite, he was trying to blow up the locomotive and the, all the ghost rock there in the tender. Well, at least now we know how he got his name. You are a smart one there, Sheriff. I, I suspect you're probably right. Boy, I was bet there, you... Was there a reward outstanding? There's not a reward. Never I, I, is. I think, I think you and our sheriff should talk. You guys have a lot in common. <laughs> not not much upstairs. Ooh. Oh. 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 How's that? Well, he, he, he tends to state the obvious as well. A couple <laughs> engines running around with dynamite in their hands. I be fixing to think they'd be blowing up the engine too. Aren't you running around oh. with dynamite right now? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you all have dynamite. Somehow. We all have dynamite on us, don't we? How many trains you blown up lately, Dawson? <laughs> Sheriff, uh, just the one you're going to be on soon. Sheriff, I like to believe in something that we call back south 
being proactive. Uh, this involves going after the rest of the tribe and taking them out so they can't kill your people again. Now, I know it's a crazy concept, but hear me out here. you got a lot of people. Why don't you go out and take out the rest well, of them? Well, you see, wise ass, we have been looking for them. This is the first time we caught one and didn't get killed in the shootout. So we're going to take him back to jail. We'll have a chat and find out where they are and take care of things. Well, good on we you. Thank you. We thank you for your assistance. That's great. You're an excellent security man. Your mom, you're doing your mother proud. We, we, we thank you for your assistance. <laughs> well said there, Dawson. Well said. Proactive? How do you act before you act? you got to drink that potion of quickness first, I think. Uh, that's how that's All right, so Wong Fei has uh, got an arrow stuck in his shoulder. Thanks. <laughs> I, uh, I walk up to Wong Fei and I grab his flask. Oh. I pour it out over the arrow. And I tell him, that'll clean the room, Wang Fei. If oh. you ain't going to be drinking much of that tonight. Well, you should pour some in mouth. That'd make me feel better. Do any of you know anything about healing? Anybody worked as a doctor or something? I've heard that you're supposed to push those arrows through. You don't pull them out. No, no. It, you just said uh, look like a uh, good nice right there. Don't touch. Trey, <laughs> did you say you know what a little bit about? You take a look at this wound. It looks. It don't look good. All right. I, we can... We can uh, Doc ba it's, it's almost morning at this point. Okay. So Doc Baker will be up shortly if you want to. Take him over there. He's uh, down there around the corner. Wait a sec. Is he a doc or a baker? Very confusing. <laughs> hey, uh, <no. laughs> have we uh, have we checked on our client? <laughs> and Chris gets a bed. I can't. I can't no, give you one for that no, one. That's good. <laughs> I can't. I give you one for that one. Let's uh, <laughs> let's check on Mr. Banks, uh, Mr. Bailey as well. Make sure he's all right. Yes. The uh, the, the the passengers are all. A bit uh, shaken, upset, but uh, able to settle them down. Lottie Galloway is beside herself. Um, so Arizona will approach Sir Clyden and say, "You know, sir, the offer still stands. You got those three men. They did nothing to protect you last night. Our six guys did a fine job. Hell of a job. Saved the entire train." Yes, but sir, you don't know if they were if they, they were in the car protecting me here. That is all I ever hired, they were hired to do. I think they weren't hired to defend the train. Actions speak louder than words, sir. And you know that a proper investment would be with R6. I'm just saying. You have a good day now. Think on that. While we're doing this, we also check the uh, the uh, uh, storage car. Break car still locked up pipe. We, we pull on the door. Locked up pipe. Okay, good. We get Aristotle to open Twice. it up to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> And you finally figure, and it, you make Aristotle open it up, and you notice in a peculiar way that Arizona, I mean that uh, Aristotle doesn't open the door between the sleeper car and the freight car. He goes to the door between the two freight cars, and lets you in at the backside. That was a good notice roll, guys. Huh? Interesting. Hmm. All right. Uh, so, but when uh, just for for reference, when the they bash the door down. Okay. Uh, may I ask my question? <laughs> One and that's the same door that, uh, that Warren tried to take. Like. Yes. The one between the freight car and the sleeper and the oh. car. One million of <laughs> jobs. Pretty good. Uh, that's me. Yeah, Hello. <laughs> You've died twice. All right. 100. So next... Uh, so Doc Baker's going to fix up uh, Long Fay, I think. <laughs> and uh, if, if we did open up, can we sell off all these uh, this glut of tomahawks and bows and arrows that we've collected from the corpses of the Braves? There's not a lot of interest for those in, in, in town. You make about four bucks. You've got to send them out. Oh, Wong, Wong Fei is ever so grateful and gives him his $60. No, sir, well, he's <laughs> That's true. Yes, Souvenirs. That's where we'll make some money. All right, actually, you're, you're, it's the, the golden hour is where, the, where it matters, right? For, there's like maybe there's like ten minutes after combat or an hour after it's combat. It's first hour after combat, I think. So and he has to make, I have to make a healing roll, and he has at, to make at his minus one. His minus one counts towards your healing roll. That's right. I might have it in my cheat sheet. And Trey can take a shot at it too, I think. If the doctor doesn't work out. I, I, I think it's, 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 it's cool. worthwhile for us to know. Be like that. Okay. I mean, couldn't we figure out how to bandage it up so at least it's not bleeding? It, I want to try to get him out of his wound. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't have my cheat sheet anymore. It's mine's over there. Do you want Trey to take a shot first? Yeah. We don't need Dr. Do you have healing as a skill? 
Uh, D6. Oh, baby. Oh, oh snap. Yeah, you might have the doctor. He's a regular doctor. What do I got to roll to? Nothing. You don't roll. He has to roll his healing. Good, because I suck. And you have a minus one to your healing roll because he has one wound. My wife was, or my mom was a nurse in, uh, she in Civil War. She really is. His mom? Oh, your mom. <laughs> your mom was a nurse in the Civil War. I'm, I'm fucked. Rolled two. <laughs> <laughs> you got a wild die, right? No luck. On the wild I rolled a two on the wild die. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're consistent. Oh, he's bennying it. He's going to try again. Because I like two wong fu. Two wong fu. Thanks for everything. Two wong to make a life. Oh. Five minus one is four, so your wound is removed. Trey packs it up nice and good. Oh. I give the $60 to Trey. Wait, that sounds like you're paying for services there, Wong Fei. Mm-hmm. You don't have 60, because I took, I took 25 of your original 40. Keep so you have 15 plus 20. You have 35. I have no need. <laughs> Wait, Wong Fei, don't you need to buy more of that hooch you've been drinking? Ah, yes, I do. <laughs> Very good. I <laughs> shall keep five. Keep a couple bucks and then, you know, get yourself some more hooch, because I, I poured all that you had in that flask out on your wound before, and your flask looking a little empty now. <laughs> I shall fill up on train. Oh, she's, she's good, sir. Yeah, fill up on train. Hey, uh, hey, Wong Fei. Next time, I think a good idea is to uh, step out of the way of the arrows. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> just, this, just a tip. Just a tip. Where was your you wisdom before? Should have mentioned it. Just uh, the tip of the arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I thought by saying. Please, no, stop. It would work, no. That has never worked for me yet, sir, but I if you will. can get that to work, I'll, I'll, my hat's off to you. There's a reason they call those ancient savages. Mm. One of these days, I have reason. to stop drinking. That's awesome. Hey, all about uh, that. Mr. Robert, hey, easy on the savage thing on these engines. They're just doing what they think they need to do to survive, that's all. And just repeating the common knowledge of the, uh, of, of the... The, the, the folk in this, uh, you know, yeah, whatever. Don't worry, Dawson. We know you're somewhat civilized. He's half civilized. He's getting there. Look, I think we've all run into that situation where we had to blow the hell up out of a train to survive. We've all been there. I know. It's just one of those things. Happens what? to the best of us. Well, that's what they had to do. They had to blow up a train to survive. Did we check their, uh... Their IDs? Home? Their IDs? Yeah, do they have licenses? No. Are they in their pockets? They're unlicensed. They're unlicensed <laughs> idiots. <laughs> oh, uh, they must be from Cleveland. Horrible. Send them back to Oklahoma. <laughs> Are these, uh, these Indians from the Vegas area? What were they holding? Dynamite. Alex, uh, Arizona already grabbed it. Or two sticks. Uh, also, we sold all their tomahawks and bows and arrows, those that we didn't keep. Uh, you each get... A dollar. Just call a dollar. Uh, a dollar, okay. I was gonna say, do I, can I trade my dollars for a tomahawk and bows and it's a hammer and axe. It's a great tool. You don't have one, right? I do. Just like in Seattle. Mr. Robert, I got an extra time call I can give you with my brothers. He ain't going to be needed no more. I heard about your brother. He was a wonderful, wonderful man. He was he was wonderful, a little stubborn, but wonderful. You you can have his tomahawk. <laughs> First your brother Dwight, then your brother the Indians. Oh, pretty tough, huh? Oh. All right, so you guys get some rest as best you can. Speechless. Yes, yes I got the last word. <laughs> I think that is fair to the say. Oh, uh, and if there's a chance to chat um, with the folks on the train to learn anything more about the obvious uh, enmity. Between two of the inventors, they stare at each other. They glare at each other. I'm just wondering if if anybody knows a little bit about that story. Yeah, see, I'm doing a terrible job because I just don't know how to present that well. You know, well, I could. Uh, yeah, no, 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 you should go ahead. No, I was, I was just say. I mean, it's written here, but I, I just don't know how to present that. And never mind. While we're asking about that, we might also want to ask if anybody knows anything about the history between uh, uh, the, the the Texas Ranger lady and. Uh, Oh, Mr. 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 Bailey. Bailey. Elijah. Elijah Bailey. <clears throat> we'll try Dottie for starters. Lottie Dottie. Lottie Dottie. He mm-hmm. likes to potty. Ma'am, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I was just finishing washing my hands twice in kerosene. You know, those, <laughs> those germs are really something, don't you they think? They really are. It's, it's really terrible. And I, I just was wondering, uh, do you know too much about the hatred between those two gentlemen over there? It seems so obvious, downright uncomfortable if you ask me. It, it, it really is obviously hard, but I don't understand why they don't like each other. It's they both seem like nice smart boys. 
I think one of them is jealous of the other one. Really? For his uh, skill as an inventor? Yes. Oh, that's a terrible thing. Jealousy's terrible. It's one of those sins, isn't it? It is. It is. Well, thank you it very is, much. It is an ugly monster. Do they have some sort of history? Did, were, did they compete? I, I know they've both been competing before. Oh, they have. Well, that's interesting. And what about... Now, this is a, a rather touchy subject, so I do apologize if you don't know anything, but uh, Mr. Bailey seems awfully taken with that, that lady engineer, Courtney. This is the first time Mr. Bailey's been on the train, so we know. Oh, all right. You know, you haven't met him before then. Yes. That's right. And by the way, is that rock still following us, do you think? Oh. <laughs> it hears you. Oh, it hears us. When you talk about it, you call it. Oh, I'm, I, I beg you your see, pardon, see, my lady. I'm so sorry about that. Forgive me. I will not mention that topic in again. In the future. Yes. We'll call it the demon tree. Well, that... That's a very curious name. How, how did you choose no, that? No, I wish you didn't call it that. No, that's a, that's a bad name. <laughs> We've run into something very we'll, simple. We'll call it eyeglasses. Eyeglasses. Because those would follow us. All right. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy if eyeglasses <laughs> were following us. That would be so crazy. <laughs> well, it was nice chatting with you, miss. i got to go now. Okay. Thank you. Nice talking to you. And you Stay away from that Sir Clyde guy. Really? Oh, he's a... She's, she's Scottish, she's English. There's already a problem there. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she'd be a little bit of this. But she's Irish now? She could be. It's a shame to say that my being Scottish. Arizona, hey, man, he's Arizona will share what he's learned, particularly about the eyeglasses <clears throat> and the jealousy between Clyden and his competitor. Well, I think it's absolutely insane for eyeglasses to be found like this. Thanks, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Detective work. Between a Scottish <laughs> accent and an Irish accent. Of course. So, it's, by the way, that's Pat and Riddle. Pat and Riddle is the, is the Playboy uh, weird scientist. And uh, HK uh, Dial. Dial? Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Professor yeah. Dial, HK Dial, is the one who has hates him just by looking at him. It's curious. This well, is where I want a doc. Put it up there, done. Let's see. Oh, just the, the history of the story? Yeah, yeah. So, you, so you have that. that Who's favorite doc? Yeah. Uh, Willie from Simpsons is Irish. Right. Chris Neal? No, he's Scottish. He's Scottish. He's Scottish. He's Scottish. He's Scottish. Yeah, he's Scottish. The, the, the train pulls out of Selena finally the next day. Musical. Okay. Scottish you guys can't wait to leave it behind. Yeah. I'm assuming yeah, you take turns napping. Yeah, we're going to maintain a high level of vigilance. We're going to take rotations in guarding both the freight car and Mr. Bailey. And if Dawson we can learn any... So go ahead, Dawson. I'm going to sleep, Dawson. Dawson doesn't go to sleep. He needs to he needs rest. <laughs> and if he's we can tired learn... Of, he's tired of carrying the, the warden on his back. <laughs> hey, now, a couple of us took out two. No, no, I, I didn't say the rest of you guys. I just said the warden. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> and if we can learn anything else about the enmity What's between... He calling me? The warden. Why is he calling me the warden? <laughs> Sheriff to you. Now you're like a warden. Those guys can't shoot neither. <laughs> That's why they put them in the jail cells, because they don't got to worry about shooting anything. That ain't moving. Oh, I know plenty about putting uh, engines in jail. I'm sure you do, but you probably couldn't shoot them. All right. I'll give out in a second to get out of the bathroom. Fair Did enough. I ever tell you about my uh, six-month stint as a hangman? Yep. In Chillicothe, Ohio. As, 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 the, as the warden's talking, Dawson just walks away and heads to his bunk. You are a hangman in Chillicothe, Ohio? That's right. How many men did you hang? 37. Oh, my God. That's something. Some of them were guilty, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, that's interesting. All right, so you, you, you spend the rest of the morning recuperating, catching up. Uh, Mid-afternoon, and the train rolls out. The train kept rolling. Oh, my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mid-afternoon on the first day out of Selena, the express leaves behind the vast farmland of eastern train? Kansas and enters the open prairie. Uh, prairie dogs. The Ford passenger car is in an uproar by the time you get there. So what's in it? The, the Ford passenger car. Okay. Scientists hurry every which way, with big grins on their faces. Overheard, you can overhear bits of conversation revolve around accuracy and killing power. Oh. <laughs> With various weapons, mundane and weird questions, eager hands, the inventors exit at the top of the car and climb onto the roof. They've actually slowed the train down. Ooh. Hey, what's going on here? This is, it's, you notice outside there's buffalo. 
Stupid bison. Bison. <coughs> They don't have buffalo yeah, there are no in buffalo. the United States. There are continent. no buffalo in the United States. <laughs> bison. They're in that continent called Africa. Sorry. Bison. Now, uh, let me reread to make sure that's what it states in here, make sure I'm not in the speaking. Joshua said, bite me. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, I said bite me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now Mike loses a Benny for arguing with the GM. Which, by the way, Dawson, you have not used any of your Bennies this evening. Oh, is that the American flag? No, I, I realize that, yeah. He didn't need to. They are, they are written as buffalo in here, so we will just call them buffalo. Fair enough. Hey, you know Big what? Blow. What do we have for dinner tonight? Actually, we can call him to talk. Are they bison chicken wings or buffalo chicken wings? They're buffalo chicken wings. Uh -huh. Up in New York, they, it's the bison bills. <laughs> <laughs> bison sabers. All right, so uh, are you guys going up on the roof to watch what's going on? I didn't say y'all were smart. Oh, Arizona is absolutely <laughs> interested. He's going up on that roof. Uh, you see, as you guys are, as the line's trickling out, you see Elijah. Looks like he's trying to decide if they're zooming up on the roof. But we are going to keep a couple of people at the freight and at, and at Elijah as well, yeah. of course. So. Okay, who's wearing that? I'll I'll say say that. Pretty, pretty much everybody's on the roof. I mean, this, this is like a big deal. Apparently, they're... they're, they're I'm not getting shot. This is like a perfect uh, distraction for an opportunistic person to go and read the uh, uh, passenger uh, the compartment. So. Yeah. Yeah. Are you I'm, I'm heading to the bar. <laughs> I, I, can, I can keep an eye on I can oh, One fair head to bar. Okay. I can just stand I can stand in between the two cars and, and look out and kind of keep an eye on everything. All right, so you head back to the freight car in the sure. center. Arizona, That's right? time from the pay us. Anybody I'll can go with company. one fair half a day. I think you're right. we got to talk to him right after this. Arizona, are you going up with the, with the crowds? Oh, hell yeah. Warren, what are you doing? Yeah, me too. With the crowds? Dawson, are you going up with the crowds? Uh, Dawson's going to sit on top of the uh, freight car. Uh... He'll, he'll watch from there, but this way you keep an eye on the car. Okay, so you're, you're back there with Robert then? Have we got eyes on Elijah, though? We got somebody... Uh, Elijah comes up on the roof with you. All oh, right, all right. That was just... Okay. Uh, so as you're getting up there, you hear uh, somebody talking. You don't need to fret about accuracy when the Conrad meat grinders at your side shouts Private Conrad into the wind. He raises a vaguely barrel-shaped barrel -shaped weapon as he flips a switch on the stock. With his thumb, the apparatus on his back, he emits ghost running exhaust. Stand back, y'all! The gun cracks and belches smoke. Instantly, a dozen buffalo within 20 yards topple over dead, pierced by hundreds of bits of shrapnel. The other measures nod to each other, applauding as Hellstrom's rep, rep makes a notation. That's a waste, my friends. Arizona is going to take Always advantage buffalo? of this distraction. He will look carefully to make sure he's unobserved, and he will try to pick a pocket... And these inventor, inventors got to be rich. They're all paying off their people. There's money to be had while everybody's watching 12 buffalo go down. You've got to pick a pocket by oh. two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so are, you, are you targeting, you're targeting an inventor then? Uh, oh, yeah. It can't be one who's, in the, who's firing, of course. It's got to be sure. one who's a little bit farther out. And not Dottie. He's, he's taking a liking to Dottie. Dottie's good, but... All right, so you I pick uh, Sylvester so McCoy or whatever his name was. Sir. Okay. She's wearing a dress. He's in a post uh, notice for all the students. Yeah, unless anybody's actively yeah. looking. Uh, explode on the six. I roll a one. Uh, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven on the stealth roll. All right, so you turn his pocket inside out, pull some lint off, put it back in. Anything? In the meantime, you find uh, <laughs> fourteen dollars. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. they make well, they made it all carry. They may not carry all their money with them. Yeah. yeah, they may have it locked up in their rooms or whatever. Locked up in their rooms. What are you thinking, Arizona? <laughs> so uh, as, you're, as you're doing that, other other inventors are, are showing their methods of destroying, and killing buffalo. They're taking wagers on who's going to have the most effective one, and uh, you know everybody gets their chance. And Pat and Riddle. Playboy extraordinaire of weird science. Mm. Here's the last one. He had the mechanoids, right? No. HK Dial. Oh, Dial. Oh, his enemy yes. had the mechanoids. Got it. Patton Riddle is already grinning before anyone asks him what his gun can do. It's not a gun, he snaps. Not in any conventional sense. Air delivered munitions are a different sort of animal. The great white hunter lifts a bulky tube shaped device on the one shoulder and peers through a targeting, targeting reticule. Reticule. Mm. That's right, folks, Real says, his finger tightening on the trigger. Someday you'll be able to shoot your meat 
and cook it at the same time. I don't believe it. With those faithful words, Pat and Riddle is engulfed in a sudden explosion of flame and debris as his device explodes in catastrophic failure. Oh, no. Well, well apparently you have to be standing next to your meat to cook it. One less competitor for the uh, prize. <laughs> so, Arizona was up there. Mm -hmm. uh, Warren was up there. Dawson was at the back. He was at the back. Trey was in the bar car with Long face, so you two guys need agility check to stay on the train. Oh boy. Dawson, you want to trade places? Nah. Dawson's actually just kind of laughing at this point. You're like, holy oh, shit. I got a five. Five? Alright, so you were both knocked to, your, knocked to the ground, knocked out, knocked to the roof of the, you took the car. Phew. There's a giant six foot hole in the roof of the car where he'd been standing. He wasn't standing over the freight car, was he? No, he was okay, like good. four cars up. <laughs> Where's Elijah? Just Elijah's okay, too. Okay, good. He was closer to the edge. He was holding on to the, 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 the brake because he was afraid. He wasn't comfortable good. up there. And what, of, and what of the inventor who fired the weapon? He's gone. He's, like, disintegrated? Vaporized. Poof. Where's his, where's a body can do that, you know. He's cooked. What? A body can do that, you know. Vaporized. <laughs> the rock at the end. Oh, that's good. Is, there, oh, is Arizona yeah. next to, like, is he on the ground and is he, is he next to Warren, Sheriff Warren? Sure. He will whisper to him, you think that might have been sabotage? He looks at H.K. Plank. What is the expression on H.K. Plank's face right now? Dial isn't up there. Or dial. Yes. Oh, okay. I think that was oh, just Oh, I'm going to give you a little pat. It's all going to be about this big. <laughs> just speed right in. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I said incompetence. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. that up. Stupid. I gotta tease you, Pablo. <laughs> Holy mackerel, that was crazy. Is everyone all right? Yeah, I mean, you guys were further down the train. You're you're you're, you're, you're several hundred feet beyond Robert. Yeah. And Upon hearing Dawson. the boom, Robert will, will climb up the ladder and he'll peek his head up above the rail, <laughs> looking down the, the line of cars. Trey and uh, Wong Fei, you hear the massive explosion. The train rattles. Does you anyone car behind it? Does anyone look hurt? So what are you drinking? People are off the car. Oh, People are off the train. They got a good sign. Yeah, they're, they're, okay. they're trying Another to stop the train. Another one on me. All right, then Arizona would race down to the engine and get the sorry? attention of the I folks riding, driving the train. They are there. Okay. They heard the explosion and stopped. All right, very good. So, so a few hours later, they've collected uh, the injured. Couple how, of, uh, how many dead? There are, there are a couple of inventors that are dead. Uh-huh. Couple of bodyguards, helpers that are dead. How many adventures that are dead that now have empty pockets? <laughs> <laughs> they just put our services back. They, they find the there. remains of uh, of the device. Arizona, this is, is a nice time to ask for a raise. Take a look at that. Sure, Elijah. give me a reserve. We'll go collect. Notice we'll see I knowledge, knowledge, right? yeah, because it's a care. I give you a hand with that. I agree. I agree with you. Come on, what are these? You got, you got, you have to, you make the repair. I'm trained in repair. It's all six. Not very well. All right. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. With your six, you're able to determine that the you're the best person. Device was tampered with. Yeah, thank you. Rob, Rob and just made friends with. Uh, from what you can tell, a fine way that Dawson's probably almost no one on the train could have done it. Maybe one of Niles' little reason. robots could have done it. <gasps> murder. Oh, murder. So I don't know if we want to share that with the rest. I don't know if they heard. I think it's bad news, guys. I don't think this happened. Only one that gets to go to college? Oh, natural. What do you mean? The explosion of the gun? I saw it with my own eyes. He, he pulled the trigger and the whole thing blew up. It's just That's bad crazy. science gone bad. What? It was, I don't want to read the last one. So there's freaking food sitting in there. I don't know. You guys are mute. Hell yeah, man. Eat that shit. <laughs> All gone. What are you saying, Trey? How do you know this? I can tell. It looks like right here, the end is going to look like there's a borehole right next to where the intake goes and, and the uh, ghost rock is uh, located. Really? So Some the intake was able to bring in the ghost rock, the bad news once that happens. So this is the sort of thing that, like, if you're not, this, this can't happen by chance. You're saying this is intentional. This is obviously intentional. How big is that bullet hole? What sort of caliber? It's not, it's not a bo uh, bore hole. Oh, it's a bore hole. like a drill. Oh, oh I see. It's as big as a pig? New York, are you trying to inject some levity into this very grim situation? I 
don't know. He's I commend your attempts. He's supposed to be the investigator. How come he's figuring it all out? I'm not an investigator. I'm a writer. An explorer. Same thing. Then you got a story now. You no, got I'm, I'm a fiction now. writer. Although, <laughs> nowadays, that is the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Does anybody else know this, or are you the first to figure this out, Trey? I think I'm the only person who looked at the remains. Trey is the only person who looked at the... Well, maybe you want to share this with the conductor, although he's the most useless man I've ever met. But do not insult him. <laughs> but don't insult him. That's right. <laughs> I do declare. I agree. That reminds me. How are your hands feeling? Much, right. much better. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. Not perfect. No, I mean, there's still a little... There's a little tightness, a little tightness. But can you feel uh, your damn hands? I can feel my damn hands. <laughs> I can feel my damn hands. Yes, sir, I can. I don't know why, it just tickles me. <laughs> I can't feel my damn hands. Uh, the other thing we are going to do is uh, collect for the day from uh, Mr. Bailey. And when we do, Mr. Bailey, uh, this job is getting a might bit dangerous. I, I'm afraid that uh, we're going to have to request a raise for our services. Fifty dollars, sir. This is just getting too much. We've already saved your hat a few times on this trip, and I'm sure we will save it a few more. That's what I say. I don't think it's an unreasonable request, sir. We've gotten you this far. We intend to get you the entire way, but it is dangerous business. You have to admit that. I'm tired of getting shot at, stabbed. You haven't shot at yet. <laughs> yeah, about Indians. Blowing up. Uh, arrows. Hit with arrows. an arrow in the shoulder. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> you do realize that there are now some out of work security detail around with their inventors who got blow, blown up. Yeah, they were the useless. <laughs> <laughs> what are our references today? Yeah, their resume is not looking too good right now. <laughs> Tell us about your previous. You, you have not been all that. Up. You have not been that successful. I've lost part of, uh, one third of my my equipment. This we week. saved two thirds of your equipment, sir. Good Without job. Us. I think got all of my equipment. Should we should be you happy you still have a job. job. You know, there's a chance, sir, that you would have lost it all. We really saved you. We saved you from yourself. Oh. And I know X's are difficult. Really I know that uh, breakups very difficult. That's just a crazy one. The source of your oh, trouble man. is a woman, my friend. I'm sure that that is. And she's going to make you pay more than you, sir. If you had warned us about this woman, I mean, was I supposed to know she was on the train? Well, because you she pressed you. charges against her. Get out your arse. Yeah, why didn't you press charges against her? She destroyed the one third of your equipment. This is, this is not a part of my. This is not important for your job. Your job is to safeguard me and my equipment. Well, the, the, the ability to safeguard you and your equipment depends on being able to properly assess the entire situation, including your relationship with uh, that that ranger. Boy, that's a good point, New York. She's well. gone, so just leave it be. What? Trying to try to not put that meta hat on. I was gonna go do 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 the same thing. Well, I think you should consider an increase to our rates. And if you're not gonna consider ten dollars, then perhaps we should make it twenty dollars because it's it's very difficult. It's well, very dangerous. We're back to negotiation. We don't even persuasion role would be included, sir. I have no persuasion, <laughs> <laughs> but I will try. I could try it. But Arizona, we can't we can't just renegotiate in the middle of our contract. Yes, we, we can. Agree Wait, you're, 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 where'd this guy come from? <laughs> um, hi, this is the Wild West. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hi. Do you oh, know what? I grew up in New York City. Nope, that doesn't Civilized count. part of the world. I got a six. Yeah, they don't renegotiate New York City either. Oh, they, no, not like this. Is it? No, I'll, 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 don't mind a No, I never did. I'll tell you what. I, gr I grew up in a better part of this country. I'll, I'll tell you. I will give you an extra day's pay. At the end, if I'm safe and no more of my equipment is damaged, that's a forty dollar bonus. I'll tell you what, which is going to be about four days. That's like your ten dollar an hour raise, ten dollar day that they raise you're asking for. I'll agree with that, but one more condition: for every bullet that gets fired at us, we each get five dollars or arrow. So for every shot against us, no, that's what you're hired for in the first place. Hmm. You are a difficult man to bargain with, sir, but I think we can come to accept your terms. Thank Very you. Very good. $50 at the end of the... Two, two, two days pay. I can, I can pick more pockets in that time. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're welcome, Dawson. Every time I see you playing, you lose like a dollar or two, yeah. but every day you end up like $20 ahead. Yes. <laughs> it's the beauty of gambling. It's the beauty of poker. You never know when you're going to be a win. Dawson may be able to shoot, but his negotiation play. skills are... Uh, 
We'll, we take care of you. All right, so you guys are busy guarding training again. Yeah. Well, well, Arizona is making a case that we should advise the um, Aristotle of, of, of Trey's findings, but he's not going to do that on his own. He's the closest thing we have to an authority on this case. Oh, God, we're in trouble. Do y'all think that we should be letting the conductor know about this? Because, you know, we should be letting know about this, the conductor and uh, uh, Mr. Portuguese. What's it over there? You left Selena, you're halfway to Kansas. Dude, we're uh, the city of Bob Fuck, Kansas. You're in nowhere. Manhattan, Kansas. You know, we have another idea. I feel Ab- a little bit safer Abilene. now. You know what we could do? If we're looking to make some more... No offense to anybody from actually from Abilene. On we the could... I've we been to Abilene, Kansas. Oh, so you can actually say that with authority? That it's the middle, it's the middle of nowhere. Yeah. We could approach uh, Mr. Dial. Yes, Mr. Dial. Mr. Dial. 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 We could let him know it's that for like 50. we have Demonicus. proof that he know, bored a hole in into that mm-hmm. item, and that for a hundred dollars we shall keep our mouths shut. Do you ever think of anything but money? You know, what else is there to think about? Think about everything else that I want to think about. I can get if I have the money. You can get justice for that poor man who was vaporized. Sure, you can give some money to his family. Guess. But that won't put the responsible party, b- party behind bars. God, but the family will be very happy. Listen, you can't buy happiness, I understand that, but you can rent it. You, 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 you do right. notice that uh, in <laughs> passing, you, you, you at one point you pass by all the dining car. He's sitting there. He seems pretty pretty happy. He's not, you know, jumping up and down for joy, but, you know, he's got a little extra spring in his step. Hmm. Look at that. Cat. There is no, there there is just a wig. She's a little attention slut, so. Yeah, she tried to kid you doing her face. She didn't come over here anymore. So, so what do you say, boys? Are we doing anything with this information, or are we going to sit on it? Right, we need to turn this information over to the closest thing we have to authorities right now. I think I'm with you, because I think it puts Mr. Bailey at risk. We don't want our client at risk. Well, what really puts our client at risk is that woman who we don't got thrown push. off the train, but... She's gone now. We don't have to worry about her. Right. Yeah, we'll never see her again. No, <laughs> never, ever. She's totally gone. We're still with that sheriff back in back in Salinas. Well, don't even. I don't even remember her name. She's not important. <laughs> she had a name? No, no. <laughs> I thought she was a NPC with no name. name. Nope. I remember she was wearing a red shirt. That was her hair. It was a blue shirt. Blue. Her hair was you blue overalls, buddy. Long face. Oh no no no! My bad. Blue hair. English not so good. Oh, not so good. All right. Colorblind. I guess the orga- the group the posse is going to sit on this information. Oh, I'm I'm gonna, we're going to start. Did we just say we're going to give this information to uh, yeah. the to Aristotle? Arizona's not without the blessing of the group, and most of them are quiet. If you want to do that on the way, you're welcome to. What are you in, Dawson? I uh, I really don't have much uh, much to say about it. I don't really care. I gotta say, I really like Aristotle. <laughs> this has been a rough two days, guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could tell Aristotle, but, you know, what is he going to do? He's going to let strangers yeah. on his train so that they can break our client's stuff. Oh. <laughs> I think this would be a very different scenario if we had a bunch of do-gooders in our group. But our possibly Yeah, you guys think it much harder when you're not do-gooders. <laughs> well, no, I mean, my problem is, like, who's, who's the authority? There is no authority. Well, we have authority, but he's crappy. You, you, can, be, you can be the authority. You can come right up. It's up to you. This is the West. What are we going to do? Shoot him? We're going to form a lynching and get him hanging? Right. No, Mar- Marshall's got a lot of experience with hanging people. Maybe he should. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Take, taking the train over. I was the, uh, kidding. A jailable offense. Really? Well, hijack the train to bring it where it's going to go anyway. You know, you I know, hung people for stealing trains. You know, you really can't win. You know, when you steal a train, where do you take it to? If you take over the train, you get hung. If you hold up the train, you get hung. It's you can't win. You really can't win. All right. <laughs> Look, how, how, about, how, about we track do this, how about we do this then? We're not going to tell the authorities. Maybe we should learn a little bit about who wanted to kill uh, that poor unfortunate soul. See if anybody else had any uh, hatred for the man. Maybe it was our guy. I don't know. Maybe you can get past level 68. What do you think, Dawson? You got all the answers. 450. Oh! I, uh, I speak with my guns, Marshall. Alright, so and you're, you're keeping quiet then. I guess so. Arizona will ask Dottie if she uh, knows of any reason why anybody else might have wanted to harm she that inventor. She does. You're quite the cute little man. 
Oh, why, thank you, ma'am. That's very nice of you to say. My would, you, mother would, you have, would you dine with me tonight? Oh, dinner with you? Yeah. My right. goodness, it would be I my pleasure, but I do. you do have to understand, <laughs> I have to bring my official gloves. I mean, the, the train is so dirty, you know? Oh, I put a filtration system, and that was my enhancement. Oh, that was fantastic. I, it would be my honor. Can't, can't you tell how fresh the air is now? Oh, you know, you're right. It smells like a spring daisy, man. I, it would be my honor and pleasure. How old is this lady? 55. Oh, man. Perfect. And that's like uh, 107. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? Wild West. <laughs> well, she's from a civilized area. She's from a... That's, that's okay. So it's 100. 100. 100. <laughs> Give it to her. Year would take seven years. <laughs> All right, so another couple days passed. Your great grandma. Oh, so we Five. we chalk up another uh, <laughs> great, great. sixty bucks, I guess. Sure, sure. For, for the most part, you can't go in the, the passenger car with a giant hole in the roof is a little uncomfortable from time to time, mm. particularly depending on the weather. Well, it's a nice breeze. <laughs> you regarding your stunt Yeah. Uh, are you taking guard shifts, or are you just? Oh well, I think we always have to have somebody uh, keeping an eye on Mr. Bailey and an eye on the door. Yeah, so at minimum, we will have one on the door and one on Mr. Bailey, and if nobody's doing anything interesting, then we might have two on the door and two on Mr. Bailey. Agreed? Yeah. All right. All right, so... Um, um, and Arizona will maybe pass by HK and uh, just say, real shame about what happened to that, that poor man. It, it really is. Streetwise check to see if he can sense any, <laughs> anything. It's such a shame <laughs> why you're you you about check. it. He's, you know, I mean, Dial is not hiding the fact that he's, he's, he's happy to see him go on. Got it. I mean, he's not saying, you know, he's not jumping for joy or anything, but... So what was it? It looked like uh, the, the two of you had a, some sort of beef. Now that he's gone, I mean, I'm, I'm new to this whole thing, but what was it between the two of you? I this Buffalo thing. I'm just curious why they're angry at each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, the... I heard beef. I could Pat Riddle held, oh, was reference to beef. held held him though ill regard. I mean, Pat Riddle never looked at him anywhere any, any different than anybody else. Mm. So our history is our own, sir. Well, it's all history now, so you're you're free to talk about it. Seems to me. Don't you worry. After everything, we're gonna I'm gonna blow your socks off at the at the symposium. Well, that's exciting, but that's a little less exciting now than it was, say, four days ago before the explosion. Because now I'm worried I might lose my socks. You can understand. Oh, I can be. Had your feet in it. <laughs> <laughs> Who have we not talked to yet? Oh, the big game hunter. That was the guy who got blown up. That's, oh, we're no, not, talking, not to talking to him anymore. No, I guess not. Well, I should say, you know, if I could stumble into this conversation. Please do. So, uh, Mr. Dial, what do you think could have run? caused such an explosion? No, it looked like his, uh, his uh, big fancy gun malfunctioned somehow. That is a, a terrible, terrible thing that can happen to, uh, this, you know, Fancy scientific contraption like that. Idea. He, oh, so you, won't you, talk you, to me. you have any idea of what might cause a uh, malfunction or something like that? I, I, I'm not familiar with the, how that thing worked. Oh, so you're not you smart enough you to know how to we'll be able to piece something together <laughs> like that? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that he spent a long time perfe perfecting that gun. Apparently, he didn't do that good a job. Well, it's a shame you didn't know anything about it, because with him out of the way, you could have made some money off of his invention. If you, you know, had any idea of what might have caused that explosion and fixed that imperfection. You know, if, if you let my, my, my spiders take a look at it, they might have found it. It could have just been a, a weakness in a valve or something. Mm. You know, it could have been some, some stupid blacksmith screwed it up. Could have been a hole in the uh, intake valve. Could have been, I guess. Dun, dun, dun. Thanks for giving away our secret. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm in the same room. Oh. It, we're, I assume that we're in the lounge car chatting. We're all anybody can overhear any conversation. Is somebody guarding the freight car right now? And somebody's Bailey. Yeah. Always. Who who's wearing them? I'm guarding. So you didn't actually say that. The freight car, Bailey. Freight car. Who's the Bailey? I'll be with Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> you look so sad. <laughs> I want to go talk to the Hellstrom rep now. Okay. What? Assuming I can find him. He doesn't go far. I'll say, hey, Professor, how you doing? Cool. What do you think? It's pretty bad luck there, huh? Truly. Indubitably. What? I'm sure an intelligent person like you must have some kind of theory as to what may have happened there. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> and I know you're dying to tell me. Not really. 
Really, it's okay. I I'm a pretty smart guy. I understand. Doesn't say anything. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing you say is gonna go over my head. It's not my job to speculate. Speculate? I'm sure you know what happened. And you're, you and I are, you know, the smartest guys left in this train. You can tell me. <laughs> I'm not wrong, right? Can I make Excuse a persuasion me. check at least? <laughs> He's meant to be a completely stoic and unfortunate person. <laughs> I like how you keep trying to climb that wall, though. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If you want to run any of your ideas by, you just give me a little wave over. And I will. I'll make my way over, okay? I will. Thank you. Can I mention your smart? Back to dial. I don't know how smart this guy is. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of out of my interrogation ideas. He does have impeccable hand, handwriting, though, I will say. And that. taste. He's got the perfect suit. The suit's always perfect. Indeed. Absolutely. The hair is perfect. He could be a politician. Arizona's curious. He um, he climbs uh, up and goes checks out the caboose. What is in the caboose? Sometime in those two days, he just wants to go see what's in the caboose. Is, is that caboose twerking? <laughs> it's a, it's a, Whose caboose is it? It looks like a small office, spare parts. It's, it's locked, you can see in the window. Okay. Uh, pixel lock. Little. I did look this up, but I don't remember the answer. Explosion Whoa. on the 8. Uh, you April 6, 14, 16. So you take your finger, take your finger, the thing oh, flips see, off, just like a friend of the yeah, just put right in there. <laughs> yeah. Come, come right yeah, I just want to add something to Hell's It was right. used for, like, backing the train up. It's where the brake man hung out. Just so you know, I... Seriously, what is it? You know, I bad? taught Joseph Lister everything he knows about <laughs> antiseptic. I'm sure that would really impress you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's I almost like, as good as your trucker. <laughs> and I like what he's doing with the Hellstorm rep, too. Everything is, hmm. He seems like a Muppet to me. <laughs> like, he responds like a Muppet. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't get a rise out of him. So, so you, you get in there, and, and yeah, it's, it's, there's parts for the the, uh, the train. There's a small desk with a listing inventory of what's in, that, in there and what they've used. Ah, stuff. what is in the inventory? Any interesting inventions that are packed? No, inventory of what's. Parts that are there for the train. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, anything that looks like it might be useful for Trey? No. It's, well, it's all mundane stuff. All right. Fair enough. Uh, lock the door. Oh, get back out. I won't make it. Leave it untouched. <laughs> so. All right. Status, curiosity satisfied. All right. Courtney Moore was not in the caboose like you expected to find. No, I was actually just curious. <laughs> <laughs> The main purpose of the car was to house the conductor, specifically an other staff like the brake man, um, uh, whose job to use was air brake and he was no longer needed, was to keep a watchful eye on the rear end of the train for both derailments as well as guard it from rear end collisions. Hmm. So that's the historical purpose of the caboose. Good job. It's like a giant bumper. <laughs> well, the person was supposed to be back there and go, hey, wait, stop. Right, right, right. That's where the bank robbers always jumped on. Oh, it was a... <laughs> and then they always worked their that's way... Always, that's always the way to fly from Whenever there was a <laughs> runaway, <laughs> runaway caboose, it always had kids <laughs> on it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Really? It was even only, in, like, a little, uh, uh, Mad Max. Even, like, uh, Beyond the Thunderdome type stuff. Indiana Jones, the young Indiana Jones. Jones. That's right. All right, so... Um, so you finally pull into Dodge City. How big is Dodge City? Dodge City is fairly large. How many more to bigger than Chicago? No, well, I've never seen Dawson so size size of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Probably a tenth of the size of Chicago. Too. So it's pretty large for Kansas, is what we're saying. Yes, like Kansas okay. itself, Dodge City is divided north and south. Uh, Rebels and Yankees live side by side in Dodge. Let's head to North Dodge City. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why? Uh, there is the north and south divided. He doesn't even walk on the south side of a street. <laughs> when you are pulling in to the train, Elijah calls you guys over. He says, "Listen, time to pay us. We made it. You're not done yet. After the symposium, uh, this is another one of those towns where you're supposed to check your guns. <laughs> Dodge City, check your guns. Everybody check like your guns. Everybody's supposed to check their guns here." Hmm. I'm just fun. saying the line is strict here as it is other places. <laughs> well, I think You're going to have to check the obvious stuff. Pay your $10 fine and keep your bonus. It's a $50 fine and three months in jail. Really? Uh, is that what the instruction book here said? 
That's what it says in this book right here. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I did my reading and I remembered the facts. And, and then we changed our to page 19. Wow, look at you, man. Oh, it's a list of all the, the crimes that yes, exist. In this case, page 33, the Marshal's Guide says, Carrying a weapon in Dodge can lead to a jail term of up to three months. Confiscate, confiscation of a weapon and a fifty dollar fine per violation. So I think I got a badge. Yeah. Dodge yeah. Dodge. <laughs> yeah, but they collect your guns anyway. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ten dollars. Yeah, this is a symposium time, which I think uh, security is. All, all, all I can say is revenue, revenue, revenue. Yeah, I get point. Well, security is tight. So you are, you are supposed to report to the sheriff, the sheriff when you arrive. Well, Mr. Bailey, if we do need to uh, pers- all the persuade the, the authorities. Perhaps okay. you could lend us a bit more money so we could better persuade them. Son, I am tired of your greed. My greed, sir. I am You have done nothing but ask me for money. Looking it's out for your money. best interest, sir. No, you're looking out for your wallet's best interest. We are doing everything we can to prevent you from taking on any sort of injury or damage during this frightful journey. A journey, I might add, which is no worse than Homer's Odyssey, sir. We have faced things worse than the Cyclops, things worse than a narwhal, things worse than a... Skilly and Charybdis? Yeah, Skilly and Charybdis and a unicorn. What, what you guys doing? No, that was Perseus. Uh, no, Rosencrantz and Guildenstein, all of them. They were all terrible, sir. Oh, they like Rogers and Hammerstein? That's right. <laughs> Me sir, I made you the deal you have. Oh, that, that You're not going to get another dime out of it. All right, all right, fair enough. Fair sure enough. hope nothing happens to your equipment. I sure hope not, too, because you'll lose your the extra money. Yeah, you usually have a financial stake in protecting that equipment. That's why he's only giving us half each day. So then, what do you recommend we do when we approach the sheriff's office, sir? I'm just saying that they're collecting. You'll have to check guns. If they don't see everything, it's probably not a bad thing. Would you allow us to put a few weapons inside your boxes? I'm sure they would not be checking your locked boxes. They, they will be watching the boxes when we unpack them, unfortunately. I see. All right. Ron, now, Robert, if you'll, come up with an idea. Now, if you'll, if you'll please make sure that these I are think we should delivered, I have them. to go see if I can find the last pieces I need to replace what was broken already. Well, I think you should be going with the escort, sir. Oh, this is the city. I'm, I'm okay in the city. Yeah, la- famous last words. You're going with an escort. <laughs> Fine, we'll all go to the sheriff's office together, and then we'll go shopping. That's fair. Yeah. Does anybody have any... If anybody wants to keep their guns, I know nothing about this, but bring something to turn in is my recommendation. Everybody, bring mm-hmm. something to turn in. I, I mean, I have nobody's going to hide a rifle. No. Nope. <laughs> it's just pistols. Or a shotgun. You might be able to get away with. Yeah. All right, turn <laughs> in my lament. I turn in my my uh my pistol. Arizona. Arizona turns in the two peacemakers that he took off the dead bodies. He turns in uh, his carbine and he uh, keeps the lamat because who would carry four weapons anyways? All right, give me a stealth check on your lamat. All right. <laughs> the explosion on the six. They opt not to the full body cavity search. Oh man, I was really hoping for that. Uh, thirteen stealth. All right, so you're able to easily hide your lamat. Yep. And Ipple. They don't. They don't take your ammo. Yeah, no, so. Nobody takes ammo. Wong Fei has no weapons of the percussive sort. Warren. Well, I'm flashing a badge and explaining that I'm on orders just from Secretary Seward himself. Do you have paperwork to back that up, sir? You'll, you'll pull out a ten dollar bill. This is my paperwork here. <laughs> Who's on the ten dollar bill? Which president? Uh, I mean, <laughs> John Jay. Uh, has he been president yet? Is, is that a Confederate dollar or is that a Union dollar? Are we on the north side or the south side of the <laughs> south city? <laughs> uh, it, it, green it, greenbacks all the way. The United States greenbacks. The deputy that you're dealing with is actually wider. Why oh, wow, really? He's the deputy. You, you know, I went to um, the military funny, school with his uncle. Is he the yeah, deputy? You, 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 say, you say a lot Wait. of things, sir. Are you checking weapons or not? I'm waiting for my, to tell me to do my persuasion check. You know. Oh, that's what's going on here. I'm going to assume here, Warden, that you taught wider or something. Oh, you know. Seven. Oh, Seven. Oh, one of those is a D6 by any chance? No, a four and a three. No, I mean... What, what do you have for weapons? Yeah, you did. I have a Colt Navy, which... Kills everything I shoot at, and well, then th- a third of double barrel shotgun. 
Well, what, what, what did you flash? A my, ten. My Marshall badge. Ten. And a ten. And a ten. And a ten. Marshall, that's that that bill's very pretty, but I, I it looks lonely. Ooh, <laughs> 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 this hurts. Well, well, well yeah. Let me, wait, I got a little itch here. Yeah, another ten dollar bill pops out. <laughs> Thank you for checking that shotgun. Whoa, that was twenty. I was just with a pistol. Mm. What about you, boy? You talking to me? Yes. You checking those? Oh. Or do you plan to check? Dawson walks up and uh, happens to have two twenties wrapped around in in his hand as he's holding his two rifles and uh, puts his. Uh, well, that carbine and his scattergun shotgun uh, with two $20 bills wrapped around him, places them up on the counter and says, this is all I got, sir. What? You have to do a better job of hiding what's on your belts, huh? What? Even no, I can see them. I ain't even trying yet. I reach, I reach back to, to, to where my belt is, and uh, miraculously, look, there, there's another $20 bill. You guys just spent three days earning. <laughs> this guy just printed. No, no, I actually spent Dwight's money. <laughs> no, that's funny. Which money did Dwight have exactly? I know that answer. I can go look uh, it up. Two hundred and two hundred and five dollars. Oh, he's rich. I don't recall him having that much money. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what you told me. Was two hundred five dollars. Well, see, seeing that you're not a marshal. Now I gotta go look at this. Yeah. <laughs> seeing that you're not a marshal, I'm still gonna take with one, the one of those pistols from you. Uh, okay, fine. Just show me your badge, Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I hand him one of the pistols. That's fine. All right. So to recap, Trey has no weapons. That no, no. Back on the train, I have three more of them. Trey? <laughs> hey, Jeff? Yes. Trey has no are, guns. Are you sneaking any weapons? or? Uh, I did not say I have no guns. I said I handed in my Lumet. Yes. I explode. You have your device. My persuasion check. Robert handed in his gun. Arizona handed in his guns. You still have your staff. I still have the. I, I snuck the. Yeah, that's what you stuck that in. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Yeah. I, uh, I handed it. I have no guns that you know about. <laughs> All right. So Elijah drags you around town for a little while. It's a it's a pretty exciting city. It borders on what Robert's comfortable with for for size. And it's it's a it's a western city. It's not very vertical. Not so claustrophobic. It's not dirty, dusty. It's modern, well, it's totally dirty, modern dusty. Day, uh, it's not dirty, grimy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we find a place uh, to sell a broken uh, gold pocket watch age. taken from uh, one of the, the people that fell to the demon tree, uh, I would like to sell that pocket watch in the course of our shopping. Uh, all right. And uh, so he manages to find everything he's looking for, or thinks he finds everything he needs. You make your trade in for that. You make uh, $25 off of that. Oh, I said crappy pocket watch. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to weigh the value of these things. It's hard in my mind. No, that's okay. I'll take it. So. Big city. Arizona, when are we going to get paid? We got paid uh, $60. Yeah, that was, that was a... How many days two ago days was that? Ago, right? Was that two one, days ago? One day ago? Yeah, uh, actually three days ago. So we need another so 60. 60. So it's okay if we all just agree that we've collected 60 more from... Sure. Okay. So, Professor uh, Banks. You guys are staying at the... Uh, out of your phone. Are you still there? Oh, no. Jeff? Jeff's yeah. definitely not there. Uh, the, you guys are staying at the Cherrywick Hotel, which is located in the heart of the business district, across the street from the railroad depot. That puts you within stones throw multiple saloons, general stores, and other, shall we say, entertaining establishments. You know, for guys who, who don't want to be heroes, you really don't do anything bad either. Well, I, I you, you do, but the rest of them. No, nobody's partying, nobody's drinking, nobody's visiting saloon girls. It's the wild oh, west. Wait a minute. We're, fin we're finally in a place where we can let our hair down. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. And you know, the last girls that we had access to turned out that they, uh, they weren't the sort of gals you wanted to hang out with, if you recall. And do you think you guys are the kind of guys? Never mind. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you know, have you seen how good looking Dawson is? I have a puppy. Especially the sheriff's daughters. So, so ba Bailey went, rents the room for himself. He uh, he says, I will uh, I'll chip in and pay half of your rooms if you want your own, or I'll pay for rooms for you guys to share. How much is a room? Uh, $5 a night. 
I'll Ooh. take my own room. Thank you very much, sir. What he said. Everybody got their own room? But let's, guys, let's separate the party and sleep separately. I want to share what my room with Trey. That's weird. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, so he's, 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 not us there. he's gonna he's gonna pay half the room if we get our own room, but he's gonna pay all of it if we share. Yes. I'm gonna stay downstairs in the saloon in the corner. That's all of us in one room. So he's paying for three rooms essentially. <clears throat> yeah. I stay downstairs right, in the saloon. I, I want, I want my own room, corner. but I'll, I'll pay my half. All right. Uh, and Mr. Bailey is you taking... Pass it. So while Faye's going to sleep at the bar, Faye's down. <laughs> Trey, you got your own room? He's definitely yes. got his own yeah. room. Yeah, he's got his own room. Uh, but we want to make sure Mr. Bailey's room is not one that has a window. We want to make sure he... They all have windows, but you, you can position his between the rest of yours. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So are we free to explore the city, or is he is he spending some time in his room so that we can put a couple of people to watch, or what are Mr. Bailey's plans? Are going to have two men on him at all times? <laughs> I think so. Too. I'm also listening to see if I can hear anything within the bar. Like the right with a gun. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, 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 there's a lot of chatter. There's a lot of pulling kind of writing, boasting, <laughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> um, no boards? No what? No boards? No, yeah. no boards to break out your head. Any yeah. other Easterners? All, there's okay. all manner of people. The Far people, Eastern. the people on the train, <laughs> just aren't, the East. aren't the only inventors. It turns out there's a very small portion who are coming on that train. Mm. They're they're less than ten percent. Ah, interesting. Look, all these more people for you to shake down. Are you having a sex position in Chicago or St. Louis? Sex position in New Orleans? Because it's closer to Hellstrom. Go to the Dodge City. Did anybody take Hellstrom the in Utah? Hellstrom, the guy. Straight, it's a it's a Solid straight rail there. line from Dodge to. Salt Lake City, Utah. The city of gloom. Yes. Yeah. Did anybody take the boxes of the inventor who passed away? Uh, it, they it, were delivered to the hall. They were, they were delivered to the hall. Everything everything was picked up and delivered to the symposium. Train. If Arizona can get away, he will go to the hall, pretending to be the inventor who died, to claim those boxes. Except they all know who he is. Oh, well, he'll be claiming to be sent by the inventor who died to pick up the boxes for the family. Do you have the uh, claim check? Claim check? Family didn't tell me about a claim check. Sorry. It blew out the window. But the poor man is dead. These might be the only possessions that his family has left to remember themselves by. That is such a heartless thing. Is that what you want to do, really? Sir, I would need the next of kin to come. Besides that, these will still be set up and displayed during the uh, symposium. It would not be the first time the award was awarded posthumously. Well... I suppose there is that. All right, then. Good luck to him. That's something, though. i got to go all the way back now, empty-handed. You realize that. Well, you can wait for the symposium then. We'll see what's in that box and figure it out afterwards if you'd like. Very good. Perhaps we will. Thank you, sir. Take care. Right. And finds a gambling establishment. <laughs> <laughs> you might find one, actually. Might just. You just might. All right, so... We can, a couple days go by while other vendors pour in and such. If we want, we can play that out. It's 11.20. If we just go to the symposium, we can wrap this up tonight, which I, I kind of like to... Yeah, let's go to the symposium. I'll, I'll so that we go, can we go to the symposium and say we did shopping later? What are you shopping for? You can't buy guns. Can you buy accessories? He wants his speed loaders. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's helpful. Well, you can't hurt... You can't... Have, you can't you can't fault the guy for trying. <laughs> we'll have that conversation afterwards. Do they sell okay. no dos? Because I think that Jeff wants some. You were only supposed to sleep from 10 to 10.20. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. Is there a... Uh, uh, what time zone? <laughs> Somewhere. I was going to say, Josh, it's even 10.20 in my time zone, so we should be waking up now. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, there's only one thing that Arizona would want to do before heading back. He looks for somebody who looks uh, a little rougher, like the sort of person that would normally carry a piece. Um, towards the, and he'll hang out by a tavern or a, a place that sure. serves alcohol. He'll find somebody who looks a little drunk, and he will try to pickpocket their claim ticket. Okay. Don't know if he can find a mark. Um, there may not give, be me a, give me a notice. No, it's not a notice. It's perception. A, I know. <coughs> it's uh, pickpocketing is... Well, he's got to find the mark, and then he's got to pick the mark. So give me a notice to see if you can find somebody who has one. Okay. But I'll still pick. I mean, I don't know for sure if they have one or not, but... Could be looking for an empty holster. 
Yeah, empty holster. That's great. Yeah. Which apparently you're blind though. I am quite blind. All right. Pick there. randomly. But I will still pick randomly. But if I see somebody with a holster, I think that would be obvious. You would pick from that person. All right, I'm going to read you the big section here, kind of the stage a little bit. You see yeah. nobody with holsters. The Kansas Scientific Symposium is held in a large central meeting room at the town hall. The no. small number of inventors riding in the Hellstrom Express may lead the bodyguards to think that the symposium is an intimate affair, maybe attended by what are you doing? Uh, invitation only. As soon as they have a look around, they know different. It is truly a bizarre of the bizarre. Uh, there are dozens of other inventors. Uh, most people tend to make uh, military applications for their devices, since Hellstrom produces that sort of thing. Mm. Really? Um, we found a great bomb. From there, are, there are three entrances uh, to the. Uh, put your map map. That's on the bomb. Hello, where are you? <laughs> Josh, I'm not sure if you have been doing this, but you can maximize real estate like Adam has and like hide the chat window. Yeah, I know. <coughs> I don't know. All right. Oh wow, we got a map. Look at this. Is there a volcano and somebody with vinegar? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys are in booth uh, section six, booth number six there in the back right. Elijah's really not happy about that. Mm. Because it's a kind of an out of the way. It's not a high flow area. Yeah, it's a very low flow area. Like, never mind. You take flow max. Uh, yeah. Dial is at number nine. You can actually see it. I've made a an icon for Max the Automaton that carries all stuff around there. Oh, cool. Next to number nine by number <coughs> by eleven there. We're right by one of the doors. Yep. Yeah, with one of the side doors. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, every power available to mad scientists is represented by at least one machine on display at the symposium. Wow. Trey is really impressed with some of this stuff, but he's too busy sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of things also there. Usually, um, war machines win, but there are things there for the everyman. There's farm equipment. There's all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Where's my friend the hell storm web? There's actually like six of them now. They all look almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> they all have the same demeanor. They have the same notebook? You know, I've heard about them. What they do is they just go door to door, knocking on your door, asking if you heard about Hellstrom, and if you haven't, then they try to convert you. It's you know very what? annoying. I think I'm going to get up on this. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a lost cause. <laughs> so, uh, are you guys going to browse? you going to stay with Elijah the whole time? What's your plan? Two on Elijah. The rest will browse. Arizona's happy to take first watch. I think Trey's going to browse. I don't think he's going to volunteer for Belgium. Belgium. I'll stay with Dawson and browse around. Make sure he stays out of trouble. I'm with Belgium. Do we have two with... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm on Billy. I'm on Billy. Anybody with you? Me. Uh, it looks like wrong way. Anybody silver with you? Wrong way. <laughs> it's like wrong way. Oh, yeah. Wrong way. Got it. <laughs> he can never get a name right. All right. So who's with, with uh, Elijah? So, uh, Wong, Wong Fei, Fei and Arizona. Arizona. Alright, so Trey's over Fong here, for lack of a better place. Fong Wei, Wong Fei. Robert's over here. No, oh, Fong Wei, my brother. I'm Wong Fei. Wong Fei, no, my brother. He very Wong Fei. Warren will be over here. He's a little, uh, like a, like a bar owner in... Uh, Dawson. <laughs> Dawson's <laughs> over here at the food bar. Oh my god. And he's <laughs> lost all that science stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Water station yeah, or bar, there you go. Can I hold the bar? <coughs> Where the Marines, oh, they all hung out, they got pulled up towards the end. All right. Did you pull this, like, out of a Javits Chinese Center Chinese, uh, <laughs> layout? I had to look pretty hard to find it. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, BJ? All right, actually, the day after the Express arrives, the scientific symposium is in full swing. Hmm. Those scheduled to last for three more days. Hmm. So, uh, so Dial and his... Uh, and Max set up HK Dial Clockworks and Curiosities. Number nine. Number nine. Got it. Nine. Mike, you got this up there? Number nine. Yep. Okay. Uh, Elijah's booth is one in the corner with a sign overhead reading Dr. Bailey's Liniments and Tonics, The Great Taste of Silence. Science. Hmm. Bailey isn't happy with the location he's been given, but he keeps a stiff upper lip and goes about the business of talking up his wares. He's British. Does he have anything in addition to the four types of potions that we receive from him? No. Oh, that's rather disappointing. 
I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. I was just rooting for him. He ain't going to win, though, I'll tell you that. Does he have some of that hand numbing cream? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, we do get a bonus if he wins. We haven't, we haven't tried his potions yet there, Arizona. They might be you know, yeah. if everybody else mm. loses... Explodes unexplainably? Well, I was just going to say loses. Right. However they may lose, and mm. he wins, we get paid more. Hmm. Well, that's not really fair. We can't do that. So that the... The, uh... It's too far out of character. <laughs> the symposium goes on, and people are interested in what he has. They come and go. And, and about noon, a few minutes past noon, word spreads to the main hall like wildfire that a ten-foot-tall padlock crate is being wheeled in. Mm. Uh, and it isn't any conventional packing crate. This one's made of slabs of some kind of dark hardwood. The corners of stress point steel reinforced, all of it welded and bolted together. <gasps> Raptors. It takes two mechanical mules smoking and chugging to carry it to HK Dial's booth. Is there a robot lion inside? No. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, now that looks like something else. Is there a crowd gathering around? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Professor Dial leaps atop a nearby table. Poke him. <laughs> Wake up. It's, it's time for the climactic end. You're at the symposium. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, representatives of Dr. Darius Hallstrom, esteemed guests of the symposium, H.K. Dial stands at the judges' table addressing an out silent crowd. We all know the point of this contest, to see whose invention is most powerful and thus most useful to Dr. Darius Hallstrom. I submit, for your consideration, the Titan! And oh, no. bursting out of the box... Wow, this sounds fantastic! A perfectly is this, safe... Is this Robocop? <laughs> Blow it up, Adam. <laughs> Drop your weapon. T20. You have 15 seconds. Terminator? I did. I dropped my weapon. That is pretty cool art, man. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. ah. Those look like very unsteady legs, though. I mean, honestly. <laughs> A metallic crash shakes the entire crate. The hall goes silent as people back away from HK Dial's booth. Another smash rocks the crate and snaps the padlocks. And oh, front of the door so swings crazy. open slowly. Mm. Inside is the biggest, sleekest automaton anyone's ever seen. That is the biggest, sleekest automaton I have ever seen. Oh, I second that. <laughs> Shaped more like a man than a typical Hellstrom model, it is compact and broad shouldered with massive fists. The entire thing is encased in smooth, brassy ghost steel with a glow of burning ghost rock shining in its eyes. Is that thing made of ghost steel? Suddenly it lurches forward, smoke billowing from its stack, smashing everything in its path. Uh, the screams echo in the hall as the crowd presses frantically towards the exits. <laughs> I'd say he was disqualified. I think so. So he starts crushing things all left and right. Run for cover! Quickly! People are fleeing everywhere. Uh, and Robert goes to the weapons. We could, uh, we have a couple options here. We could grab Bailey's stuff. If he's the only one that survives, he wins by default. Yeah, that's what I think. I think that's a good option. But this is also a great opportunity to grab some items from the tables and use them against. You could fight the Titan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a stupid suggestion, you know, with the climactic end of the battle, you might want to... With yeah. me and Dawson being the only ones with guns? No, I got a gun. I was going to say, I don't think you guys are the only ones with guns. You boys and girls, Bailey shouts at you. Get in there, show that thing who's boss, and make sure you use the tonics I gave you. You hear? Use those tonics. People gotta see them. But we used them on the Indians. You got some more for us? You didn't use them because you. I told you to come get more. We did. But we we waited until now. We need more. Quickly. Come with the Tell me what you need. We need a quickness. We need quickness. Quick. I, I got two more quickness. Excellent. Thank you. And one healing in case somebody gets hurt. Here you go. All right. I'll take a quickness. Quickness for uh, one. Oh, no, for one. <laughs> I right. take nothing, brother. Warren, quickness for you, buddy. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll give me one of those healing potions. Done. All right, I'll have some of that strawberry pop. <laughs> All right, we're getting in there. We're getting into the battle. That's All for right. sure. Jeff, shoot it. <laughs> shoot it. It Jeff, all depends on you. Jeff, it's going to crush you out. Shoot it. It's, its foot is on top of you. Shoot it. You have to make a bigger roll or you are crushed. Shoot it. You failed. Okay, so there it is. It is burst out. I'm going to pull you guys a little closer. Yes. So you were probably drawn to it. Like a moth to a flame. What do you do with these potions? You drink them or you drink them? You got to uh, rub my hand on your head. No, no. They're like enemas. Ha, 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 ha. I don't want to pay for you. <laughs> what are you getting over that chair, Jeff? 
but that, she's so comfortable. Oh, oh blah, blah, she knew. Blah, blah, she knew blah, she was in trouble. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But she still gave you a look like what? It's no. not. Oh, my chair. <laughs> when we came over vacation, Jules sat in that chair. Kind of, she was covered in cat hair. <laughs> never happened in my house growing up. All right. So, um, let's have battle. Sounds good. <laughs> Yes. I just show us what's going to happen now. At least with my character. Well, he's going to die. That's pretty good. Well, yeah, but it's going to be hysterical when he does. Who's <laughs> this an optimist? Oh, uh, by the way, Arizona. Yes. What the hell did you do with your hands? Crazy. We'll talk about it later. What? What? With the lightning and the throw and the boom. That's crazy. I don't, I don't know what you're... What? You saw that, Arizona? What happened? Tracks nothing. Nothing. You saw nothing. <laughs> Uh, we'll talk about it later. I saw nothing. That's right. Make sure you get Dawson in there. He's going to save us all. He's in there. And then the magic of internet. Now that I almost figured out how to do it. You've almost figured out the internet? Yeah. Uh, Al Gore created it. You figured it out? I have Gosh, to say, is a oh my gosh! Yes. That is lovely. Will you look at that? It got some, the it got the black Joker. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> did you shuffle after it last? I did. Oh. It got the black Joker. Well, it can go for <laughs> whenever it wants. It's running at plus two for everything that it does right now. How many attacks does it have? Trey, we'll just use our Benny. It's attacking oh, you. That giant steam one, thing is attacking you. One now. How many potions do you have? He's I have a healing potion and I have bigger. the bigger one. You might want to do the bigger one. Well, we've got potions. Yeah, I don't think he's got a choice. We've got we'll, we'll be okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. attackers gain a plus two bonus to attack rolls against the Titan because it is large. Mm. Uh, it attacks. The gates, it right. may attack once with each Arm. fist in a single round. So it'll attack Trey and his enemy next to Trey and Robert. Whoa, Yay. wait a minute. Oh Not liking this so much, lad. Okay, try. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh seven. Oh, seven. Boy. So, Trey made that. It takes a strength. What's your parry, Trey? Yeah. What's your parry? Trey? It's only five. Yeah. Am so I tough it? No. Parry. So, I think he hit you. And that parry assumes you have a weapon. Hmm. And we're going to just. You doing parry or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's unarmed. Oh, well, he pairs four. He's got his arms. He hasn't got the top So he spin. clubs you for 15. Oh, my God. Whoa! Bro, Benny. 15. Benny! Why so is he going to 15 for every game? Benny. I know. Right. 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 Chris, I'm on a D12 plus 2 plus a D8. My right. tub is only good. 4. And you got 15? So we're you're looking at 11 it. over. So right now, your baseline is 1 shaken plus 2 wounds. That's what you got to get rid of. Well, so the potion, the potion gets rid of the healing potion. Is clears up two wounds. I know, but if he can, so how okay. many bennies do you have? Two. So should he plus the legendary? It? And he's got the legendary. If he takes the healing potion right now, it'll cure his shaken and the two wounds neatly. Maybe he should do that. I don't know if he can take the potion right now because it's not his turn. Oh right, Benny is free action. He would have to wait until his turn. Let's use the two bennies, and then I'll be uh, shaken. I think the potion is your better bet. But you can't. You use it you'll now? be shaken. You can't use it now. It's not. We want to use it now, generally. Yeah. Yeah. We do want to be seen, it. according to Bailey. It'll make Bailey look fantastic. Yes. I vote yes. But then you will lose your turn because you will have to get rid of your. No, I was just to die funny. <laughs> no, you missed it. What are you doing? This has waking up. I guess I will. Wait for my turn. No, he goes. Bitch slapped. Did he go flying? Uh -huh. Oh, God. Eleven on my fighting roll. That oh. was a hit with a raise. So you, you added... You don't even know my toughness is. How do you know? What's your toughness? Five. <laughs> <laughs> hit with a raise. Uh, I'll, I'll try to soak. This is a yeah. D6 plus a D8 plus a D12. Plus oh, you're not even in damage yet. It's not in there yet. Why did you let go? You know, I have ones over there. I have a oh, one, a two, a four, and a two. So it's my parry is also five. Mm. So I'm eight, shaking. Nine, nine, nine. Sorry, mm. six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. I'm right there. Mm. So nine. That is a that is a shit. That is a wound. Um, let's see what it's rolling. But we get like a bunch of attacks on it, and we all have quickness. We get two attacks. Come on. 
I hope my uh, I so to move. Report it in my class when so I'm no longer I'm Okay. It, it, it looked like he hit me, but I actually rolled. I kind of it you decked you. The big mm -hmm. arm came and smashed you. You went tumbling away, but you recovered okay. I know. The first arm smashed Trey, leaving a pile of bashed in goo. Oh my gosh! A heap of little, a heap of little man goo. <laughs> little man goo. War, show little, us what you he's got. Little, he's too oh. This Saturday night. Oh, he's taking out his Colt maybe. And he's going <laughs> Again. Wait, okay, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Don't forget that you have the potion of quickness. Uh, a big a ton of, yeah. a ton of that might be the best way. I didn't take it. Yeah. No, not yet. No. I'll consider drinking a potion a, a move action. It's, For a, this? it's a slower action. It's, okay. it's not a big action. So he'll drink the uh, potion. Okay. Mm -hmm. That gives you two attacks per round with no with no penalties. You might not want to fan everything. Well, mm -hmm. I got all these pennies. I can re-roll my ones, can't I? <laughs> not for damage. Just for attacks. I think you have to reroll everything. It's not just like yeah. pick one. What would, what would Dawson do if he were me? The, the, the best option is to shoot twice and double tap each time. I yeah. agree. That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the only other question is, do you want to try to target something? I don't know if anything looks weak. Target? How about target the big guy? <laughs> well, yeah, you'll definitely hit. You get a plus two to hit him. But you don't want to call is shot. there anything like a head or something? Yeah, call shot. It's negative. No. Negative what? Two? It's negative four. four. But he's big, so it's plus well, two. Well, it depends on what you're calling. No, I just want to shoot him. Right. If okay. I can shoot a leg off of him or something. So, so he's big, it. and you get the double tap, so it's plus three to hit. Plus three to everything? Or just to hit. Wait, are you double tap? What are you doing? He gets a plus two to hit because it's large. Yeah. And he's double three. tapping, so that'll be a plus three to hit. Are you fanning? He's double tapping. Just, he's just double tapping. He can't fan and double tap. Yeah, I just want to make sure but that he's, we actually he's ask Joel what he's doing. So this is two Because I don't think anybody's done that yet. Two attacks? Yeah. yeah. Is that two, two uh, just wild dice? How'd you do on that one? I got six. Okay. Explosion? Another six. Double explosion? See, Dawson, that's how you do it. At this point, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, it's right. redundant. Unfortunately. So you have hit with a raise on your first shot. Yeah, you have one more shot. Which is just a D4, because he just uses Wild Eye. That's right. Oh, no, it's two attacks, so isn't it just a second separate attack? I don't know, we should flip that up at some point. Yeah. You can roll a D6 again. Especially since you need Do it. Do I get plus two to this? Plus oh. three. Plus three again. Well, so that two becomes a five. Because so that's, that's a five. End. You want okay. me to just stick with it? Sure, that's fine. One, one, is, one is with a raise. So your damage is... Two to six? 2d6. 2d6. For both of them? Plus one. Uh, for the first damage roll, it's 3d6. Yes. Because you got a raise on that one. hit. Yeah. You need an extra d. We're in the supposing. So this is your first shot. Yeah, okay. So since, since Jeff missed on this, I'm going to tell him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and your second shot is 2d6. I don't want to give him a shit for talking. It, uh, and eight. The, the both of your shots runs. ricochet off the... Yeah. Oh, it's actually armor. Huge it's an eight and nine because he gets plus one damage. Both of your shots ricochet off the ghost steel armor. <laughs> <laughs> and All you right, big speech about the house. Wow. <laughs> All right. Of the of more Dawson. Like we got to aim for the heads win, and then boom, the door opens. Um, um, he head does plus four damage. So Dawson obviously sees that the ward shot ricochet off his armor. Dawson, aim for the head. Does plus four damage. Aiming, aiming is still minus four to hit. Yeah. So for the head, head, head called headshot is minus four. But if you do a, but it, it looks just like the rest of it. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, but so does there appear to be like any? I mean, is that would require a notice check in your turn. Hmm. Or are there any like points that look like there's like how does this thing see where you know? If you're looking for a weakness, it's a notice check, and that's your turn. Unless you want to take a multi-action and penalty to each. Uh, Unless you Action. take your quickness. You took your. You have, you have the other quickness. Uh, I don't have quickness. Yes, you do. You took the original quickness. The quickness. Oh, that's right. I did take the original. All right. So you, you want to chug that quick? Yes. All right. Then do your notifier. Your your, your notify. <laughs> your your notice check. Okay. Did you put in a change to the change of that system? <laughs> oh, uh, eleven. You notice a small gap in the torso's armor plating under each arm that is seen with a successful notice check. Call it shots at either of these gaps suffer a minus six. Wow. You can aim. That's yeah, your turn, yeah. though. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. Or you can double tap. Those are two-legged ones. Which will give you a plus one. No, those are four-legged ones. You have plus two for its size, oh, you're plus three, so you're really a minus three for the oh, one shot. I can you, uh, and so you know, you've got four, uh, three bennies here, two of which are red, and one is white. Yeah. Yeah. So, so well, let's let's give it a shot at the let's let's, let's give it a shot with the called shot. Okay. Shot uh, for that weakness. You double tapping? Double tapping. All right. So Joel used four bullets, by the way. Four bullets. Okay. So that's effectively a minus three to that call. Yes. Shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, explode on the six, hmm. but not on my shooting guy. Explode again on the six. Twelve. Two. Fourteen. Uh -oh. Fourteen so minus how much? Minus three, so it's a hit with a raise. So you get an extra d6 and a damage die. So it ends up being an eleven. Okay, so it ends up being an eleven. Okay, so it was, a, it was a net effect of a minus three. Right. Yes. Got, got, it. Got, got, it, got, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, that's my Peacemaker, so that's 2d6 plus 1, so that'd be 3d6 plus 1. And that is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points of damage. Does that include the plus 1 for your double tap? Uh, no, that'd be 13 points of damage then. Minus its toughness, minus its armor. Yeah. Because I know it has armor. I'm doing it now. <laughs> its toughness is 18. <coughs> oh. So both bounce off. So it's tough. This is this is where I, I, I keep forgetting how this works. There's 18 parentheses four. Is it for the additional armor? No, I think four is actual. It's actual toughness without the armor. I thought that the parentheses is the addition that armor gives you. Yeah, so so did I. Okay, so then it has a 14 toughness when you hit the spot. What did you do for damage? Oh, shoot, I don't remember what I just said. It's a 12, 13. 13, so you... 13, 13. Your, your bullet went in, but it hit nothing critical. Did you add one for the uh, double tap? Yeah, that would be yes. a plus one. Yes. Shoot. Okay. So, I need to ask. All right, okay. Oh. If we got to do 14 plus points of damage, guys, this is going to be a really long fight. We need... Well, this, we this need is like the big here. bad guy of the entire... Yeah. You know, whatever this is we called. We need to find a shot. weapon of... Anybody got dynamite? Group. You want to use dynamite in the symposium hall? You would uh, be the best right. equipped to find that weapon. I don't know if we would... Okay, Dawson, you're all set? There. Yeah, Dawson uh, has no more moves. So One or, or action, So he's done. Home tray hold. Wait patiently. Arizona. Well, poops his pants. I have the last quickness potion. Uh, he is going to uh, use stealth and try to pour the quickness potion into Wong Fei's flask. It's pretty distracting. I think Wong Fei could do better damage with quickness than I can. He's going to do... Wong Fei, look over there! Oh, what is that, a that cat? thing is huge! Have yourself. Oh, jeez. Craziness. Cat, that uh, I got a 5 mm. plus 2 is 7. All right, so you successfully put that in there. Remember. No, you gotta no, drink, drink it. Drink it. Uh, and uh, I guess I can move. Yeah. Um, Hope the alcohol is not Well, is there anything? Actually the are, are there any other objects at the the? Um, Whatever. There's tables and all that kind of jazz. There's people running everywhere. It's chaos. But I mean, there's, there's the question. I'm, but the question I have is: Are there any inventions that look like you said? There are a lot of military type inventions. So are there any military-type weapons nearby and any of these tables that look useful? I know Trey would be an expert. Tell me what you see. Make what it up. Within a reason. You make it up. Right. Well, he sees a one table which is unoccupied. It happens to be the table of the now-deceased man who he tried to rob <laughs> earlier in the evening. Pat Riddle. Pat and Riddle. And in fact, on that table, there, lying there, is an exact duplicate of the weapon that he used to down the buffalo. Excellent. It is sitting there, waiting to be taken. And he races over to it, but that's all he can do in his move. I do that first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious, when you, when you open this flask, did it smell of, of, of liquor? I, I'm in the middle of a big fight. I don't I have Bob had those in the stall anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Robert. That's my turn. No, uh, now, uh, Wong Fei, do you want to jump back in? Oh, yeah, you can jump in whatever you want. You're on hold. I'm on hold. It's up to you. Stop that. 
<laughs> I don't like 15 dots. <laughs> it's usually spicy, but... How, do you oh, how is this, huh? How you like this, GM? Oh. All right. All right. Uh, me. All right, so i got to cast something here. <clears throat> I'm going to take my drink and my flask, All right, you, as I normally do. You immediately <laughs> notice it is not what you expect it to be. Oh, tastes funny. I try. Drink some more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, you've imbibed the quickness potion. That lasts for three rounds, by the way, guys. That's you've right. consumed that, Ghost that, Rock. That's, right, that's the Great. whole cleric. Look over there while we do something bad. <laughs> do I know what's Ghost, ghost Rock yet? Paladin, look over there while we do uh, something bad. Deflection or armor? Armor. He, he's nothing shooting at you, right? He has nothing to shoot at you, know. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna oh, go so to... Which, which one is a higher D? Which one is D6? What's he doing? Just walk around uh-huh. swinging his arms? Just smashing. Uh, deflection. Yeah. Armor's oh, decent. Smash. And do the one with the higher. Do I got a roll for it? Mm-hmm. Two dice? Uh, yeah. Oh, right. What are you doing? Now I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to use my inner chi armor to strengthen my resolve. Uh-huh. I have no idea what that meant. Sounds cool. Oh, explosion. Oh, you're loving it right now. Oh, nine. So now, what that means for him yes, is using his mystical arts... Uh, you hit with a raise on your armor skill. My chi. Your armor is now plus four, so your toughness is now plus four. Toughness plus four. That's a lot. And that lasts for three rounds. While you're quick. While he's quick. Mm-hmm. He has another action now, right? Because he takes potion. He does. Uh, okay, so I am going to burrow oh. into the ground. Wow. A special uh, chi where I spin and drop into the earth. And I can move that many. Don't you give me that look, GM. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sure. Uh, you should do something cool. Give yeah, me please, please, do that something cool. Look. I'm going to say yes. Everybody, make note. Josh said yes. Very Go ahead. Nice. Of course, it's not my suggestion. Maybe he hides under the it's table. It's a dirt floor. Yeah. I'm imagining he's like Superman when Superman yeah. spins and then goes down. I'm picturing he hides under tables and swoops out underneath. <laughs> oh, that could be. <laughs> you know yeah, it could be any either way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do I get a roll? Oh, maybe it's up there? Uh, right, I don't Robert, know. That yeah, burrow's it. a d4. Okay. I got it. Ooh, a three. Uh, your burrow? Stop mm. short. May not, may not quite work. You get, you get down to your knees. Do you, you, you want to use your Benny? I got one Benny. I gave you an extra one. I know. I got one. one. And you don't want to save in case you get punched? Nope. <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> no, I mean, do something cool. Kitty. Get it? Use, it? use the force, Josh. Use there the force. There we go. This better work. I give us a jewel. Oh, a four. No. Five. Explosion. A five. And a five. That's death. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a five I can burrow into the earth and move to the range, which is smarts plus two, and may attempt a surprise attack. All right. Was that all in one like, action? Oh, so you have to attack. Or I can hold underground. Mm-hmm. And you're I moved you to adjacent to the creature. Okay, that's fantastic. You could zoom in on that area, you know. That would be harder to see. That. Your smart attack. I think your surprise attack would be a plus four to hit and a plus two to damage, if I remember correctly. Okay. And you can burrow for the next three rounds. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get up and attack. All right. Oh, you can right click and drag. I have yeah. my. Uh, which better, my brass knuckles or my bow staff? Oh, they're both the same. Both the same. I think my brass knuckles is better. I'm going to use my brass knuckles. Brass knuckles. My brass fucking knuckles. knuckles. That was probably break your hand when you punch it away. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, but are you sure you're aiming for the target that might point it out? It's a Correct. So it's my strength. That's how to get it. It's a D6. Is it strength? What's your fighting? Oh, fucking. I have no idea. D8. Oh, D8. Nice. <laughs> That's what I can do here. Very suck. It's got to be good, though. Uh, it is not. It's a five. Oh. <laughs> Do I have any pluses there, though? Um, oh, yeah. You get a plus four to hit because you're doing surprise attack. There it is. Surprise attack. And he's large, so that's plus two more. So it's plus six. So, so 11. So that bounces out the minus six. 11 minus six. Oh, yeah. It's still hit, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, no. Because uh, it's parry. Parry seven. Oh. So 11 minus six is five. I can't think of anything else that you've got. Well, that just sucks. Unless you want to give him a penny, but you might want to. No, I'm not giving him a penny for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Robert. Next round. Uh, 
Robert is looking at the inventions on the table, looking for some form of restraining device. Uh, perhaps a very sticky glue or something. You see a ghost rock uh, reinforced barbed wire. No, I'm under okay. ghost, ghost steel, ghost steel barbed wire. Um, that you could potentially wrap around legs or something. Are there like gloves that. near this wire? <laughs> this barbed wire? It's, it's not, the, the barbs are dull in, in this case, it's for show. Oh, okay, great. But it's like, look, we have ghost steel for your force barb. So, All right, so Robert will uh, he'll grab one into the ghost wire. Excuse me, ghost, uh, ghost rock Oh, wire. I saw that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be considered an attack roll? <laughs> Maybe agility. Yeah, I was gonna give agility. At that well, one. I was just gonna. I was actually gonna throw. Uh, uh, I was gonna throw one end to Trey. And uh, tell him, meet me on the other side of that thing. Jump, go, hop across the table. Let's go. And so that we just basically, you know, form a tripwire. We're gonna. Are you are you trying to trip it? Or are you trying to wrap? We're trying to it? encircle it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to try and trip that thing. How much it weighs? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, it's like Luke Skywalker trying to take down... Exactly. ...in yes, the you. Ice Planet pod. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, but there's two of us. Don't get me ramped up. That's why I said I looked at him and I said, eh, eh. <laughs> Oh, nice. Nice. Well, all right, so you're, you're, you're back to sleep. Then I came back... Uh, and right, all of a sudden, we're wrapping up like an eh, <laughs> All right, um... I'm going to get my ass kicked, and then... I guess give me an agility roll to... To get over there and avoid stuff and not trip and fall on your face. Okay. Run into the people who are scary. Get, get tangle all the people up in it. Eh. Yeah. Fine. Happens, happens. Collateral damage. <laughs> it's you too, Trey. Happens. Assuming you're doing this. I will admit, once I um, once it's my turn, I can drink my potion, so I'm not shaking the things or anything right now. Ah. Nah, I failed. I got three. So I got a three and a three. So you get closer... But uh, somebody runs into a table and knocks it into you, knocking you off balance. So where do I end up? Well, we get out of here. It's getting too close. <laughs> Duh. All right, Trey. I right, drink the both. What goes, what goes, what? The blood goes back up into his cuts, his bruises heal. Everybody, go, everybody stops and goes... Wow, that was amazing! He looks like Wolverine for a second. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm all dressed up, ready to go. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to look at the table closest to me. I'm looking for anything long and cylindrical. Well, hey, hey, one phase there. Oh. <laughs> no, they're, they're all rectangular, rectangular tables. Uh, find long and cylindrical. You I'm looking for, for water a bazooka. Tube? Uh, oh, the item, he's looking for the items on the table, gun-like in appearance. Uh, looking for a barrel, large bore barrel. What about this? Uh, <laughs> you, uh, I just keep thinking of Commando. When Ray Dong Chong has the rocket, rocket launcher. launcher. <laughs> and she shoots it back. <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> Double ones. Could be square with missiles inside of it. You, you, you see something that you think is some sort of projectile device. I'm running over to it and I'm aiming it at this thing and firing it if I can find a button. Give me a repair roll. Let's see if he figures out how to get it right. Oh, that's good. Oh, boy. Oh, he's exploded. Nine. All right. Ten, good. Eleven. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the benefit of aiming because you actually got it. All right. It so, is. It is like a twelve foot tall thing, eight feet away from me. <laughs> so you, are you are you aiming for the spot? I'm aiming for the little junk spot. The weakness. All right. So give me your shooting roll. I give you plus two. Uh, your minus six for the call shot. Plus two for the size. Plus two for the aiming. repair roll. So you're only minus two for the call shot. Okay. So now, so I can't confirm my five. Five natural. Five natural <laughs> minus two net. I gotta use a Benny. One more point would do the trick. Have you got a Benny that you can add one d six? He's got a red there. What's a red do? Red. You can add one d six to your roll at the cost of giving uh, Josh uh, an extra pull from the pot. The concern I have is if you use just a white Benny 
five is a pretty good roll. You'd have to do better than a five. Yeah. You'd, have, you'd have to ace. Yeah, you'd have to ace. You think this is a one-shot device? I'll make it easy. Then you got to do it, buddy. Spread right. the red. Pull your chip, Josh, and you get, a one, you get to add 1d6 to your existing roll. Five. So ten. that is a ten. It's a hit with a race. Minus oh. two. You said minus two overall. Right, right. Yeah. Still a hit with a race. Still an eight. eight. Yeah. So it's it a hit with a race. So damage. Oh, what is his damage? He doesn't even know. A large metal tube fires out of this thing. Large metal tube fires out of the metal tube. Yes. Uh, Inception. Think, think like massive compressed air inside. Boom. There's a smaller metal tube that's going to get shooting. Shot out shooting, of that. shooting. <laughs> it's actually a really just long black. Shooting almost a spear-like device. D12 plus D6. The D6 Whoa. is his race. Plus D6 too. So one twelve, one D12 plus two D6. Yeah. Wow. Good to have a scientist in the party. Fifteen. And you can roll your other dice too. <laughs> I roll three fives. Not bad. That's solid. Well, yeah, it has a fourteen toughness, so it does hit. So it's shaken. It is shaking. All right, now comes the scary part. Throw your shot backwards? No, because, you know, it was really cool. But now it blows up and everybody within a short range has to. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know it happened. No, we didn't. <laughs> you didn't no, know that was explosive tipped. Oh, boy. <laughs> explosive tipped. So Warren well, is safe. Yes. <laughs> Robert, um, Arizona. In Wong Fei, give me an agility check. Why do I have such poor agility? Look at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so you're bigger. You're the bigger guy. You always told me. You have the constitution of a thousand. Man. Oh, Roberto. I got a 15 for agility. Oh, come on. I got a three. Two. I got a D8 agility. You got a three? Did you roll your D6 too? I got a three and a three. Oh, my gosh. I have two and two. So there goes the... Three. All right. Uh, it is seven damage, half. If you made it, you duck behind something. <clears throat> That's not too bad. What's your toughness? Well, now uh, oh, toughness is a nine. You take no damage. Your toughness saved you from the explosion. Nine? Oh, nine. Oh, sorry. Nah, I'm yeah, it is. We're We're five. Either maybe way. it's your kung fu shaking. dodging all the <laughs> bullet time, Neo. Like Matrix. And that's hardcore toughness. Damn. I right. get the plus three because of the plus uh, four. Plus four. Oh, because of the quickness edge. and the power. My so my chi armor. Right, I gotta reshuffle the deck. He's good to throw into a fight once he gets his armor up. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I forgot about the armor. Yeah. All right. Uh, Warren is top of the list. Put it together. Hit the bottom again. Nice. Oh, it was half damage if you rolled your agility. Yeah. Where's the robot? Yeah, if you were saying who was there, the robot. Yeah, I said, oh, yeah, he's putting me in a right click now. He's in front of him. 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 It, it, it looks like it's some sort of five. That's me. You have the five. He has. Oh, so it's the initial that I can flip right right over like a table, like a flip over. So you can yeah. the high five. No, oh, to, to trip him up, get in his way. You can try. Why is she? I'll try. All right. So uh, give me. Uh, you, you, it hasn't moved a lot. That's the only thing. That's and remember, right. while it's shaken, if you just get hit its toughness, it takes another roll. Yeah, but Assuming it stays shaken, it gets hit by the one. What am I gonna hit him with? The damage. I already shot him and didn't do any good. The, the shoot damage again. You shoot it two shots. Again. The and damage both times. Jeff did dislodge the plate and made it a, a larger good. area. Oh. So now instead of a minus six, it's a minus four. So go. I think you should do right. it again. Maybe I have some best best chance. Okay, you can only double tap <laughs> once. You know, assume you have a six six gun, six bullets in your gun. Yeah. So you can double tap once. How many That's guns do you point. have? You only have one. <laughs> Double tap once. Because you only have those two bullets. Yeah. I, I would fire two bullets. Okay. Regular. If you've got two bullets left, you can shoot. You've got okay. you got the quickness potion. So you can shoot twice. Or you're better off true. just doing two regular shots. Yeah, you're right. You're okay. right. So two shooting rolls. Two shooting rolls with okay. um, one post. a plus two bonus to hit to each because it's big, and then a yeah. minus okay, so four net of minus two. So net of minus two. Yeah, two net. rolls with minus two. Net minus two. 
So a three and a one. Those are not successful. And then you, your second shot. That's your first shot. Missed. Yeah. But you have another shot. Yep. Well, can, I, can I use this to add? Yeah. If you want. Yeah, that is to add one. But so, that, so that would be a hit then? You have to roll a d6 to, you roll a d6 to add to that three. And you would hit it on a four. So basically it's almost a guaranteed hit. But the downside mm -hmm. is if you use what? that Benny. You would have no, he has to get a six to hit. He has to roll three more. Because he's at a net minus two. Oh, you're right. You're right. He has to roll. To roll a d6. Six. Oh, roll it again. Roll, roll it again. It aces. So that's nine. Three. So Twelve. Minus two. two minus ten. two is ten. So it's a hit with a raise. So that was a, an excellent use of your Benny. It's two d6 plus another d6. Dawson's not launching for us. So you're doing your damage now. Three d6. Three d6. You got up. You need like a fourteen. There you go. I think. Six. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But you still have one more shot. Can you use Benny? Uh, should, should, should I have to roll? Not a damage not roll. Re -roll damage. You can't roll. You can't re-roll damage. Roll. That's only trait rolls, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Here we go. So my other shot. Yes. Yep. Here. Oh yeah. Good luck. It's minus two. I explode with a four. Ooh. Five. Oh, 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 you just needed oh, one more. First one goes in, but it doesn't seem to slow the creature you down. You got another red chip there. Can you use a Benny now? You can't use a Benny. Which yeah. one are you using? Oh, use the white one. That's a oh, you're, you're, you're going to roll the D6 to add to that D4? Yeah, yeah I do. It's a guaranteed hit. You may yeah. get a rate. You may. Four. All right, so, so that's, that's a seven. So it's a guarantee it's a hit. Mm -hmm. So there's only two D6 then. Because you didn't hit with a raise. What is my legendary? That's, that's a good one. Right my legendary? Yeah. Just let you. Well, you give the guy a roll of one. He gave me a one. Thanks. You're too, you're too into your favorite. That's the one. My dice suck. All of them. They're all cursed. Oh, so let's all. That's a low one. That's what you get when you get a little bit of a lot of lives. I do any damage? I did no damage. You didn't count to question. Sorry, him. I got him twice again and did no damage again. You didn't count to question damage. That's what they call it. He didn't shake him either. Thanks. Well, he's already shaking. I mean, that's what you got to say. How can I reload for my move? No, it's a, the re the reload, reload is, is an action. An action. So next time you can add, you can reload as one of your actions, and then can I flip over a table for my move? You can kick a table over, sure. Okay, kick the table over. All right. Warren good done. Dawson with a big scream. Two looks <laughs> for. <laughs> Dawson does exactly what he did last time. This is two actions. Takes aim. Got the nice big gaping hole from the exploding Three. tube thing. And is uh, firing away. Are you okay? You shot twice last time, right? You double tap both times. Yep. So much like Joel, you only have two. He has know, two guns. No, he only kept one. Oh, okay. Is it a six shooter? Is your gun? Your gun's a six shooter, right? Um. Yes. So you only have two bullets left. Right. So you can double tap once, or you can shoot twice. Uh, Adam says the better math is shoot twice. Yeah. I think you can bother with that. Just want to double tap okay. shooter. No, it's better odds. First, first shot is a seven. That's a hit. And seven minus uh, two. Yeah, that's a hit. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. And the second shot it is ooh five. That is not a hit. Five is not a hit. Now, uh, Mike, this is your chance. You got two red bennies here. You could use one of the red bennies and roll a 1d6 and add to your, your 5. To try to make a hit with a raise. Mm -hmm. That way you roll, roll the extra d6 for well, damage. If, if he rolls if, uh, that, his 5 is a miss right now? If he no, rolls his, a, five is, his, his 5 is... 5 minus 2. Yeah. Right. His 7 was a hit. His 5 was a miss. So if he uses this benny, he's guaranteed a hit, and he might get a raise. Yep. So I think you might want to try using the benny, Mike. Okay, so I'll use one of the red bennies. All right. Josh? And I, I re-roll what the D6, Josh? You add one D6, Mike. Okay. He's rolling that, he's adding that to the seven or to the five? To, to the five. five. To five. So you're trying to hit twice. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a six. And that ace, Mike, so you can roll that again. Roll it again. Oh, okay. Uh, and a four. Wow. So it's that's 16. Ten alone. Yeah. So that's a hit with a raise. Yes. So if one hit and one hit with a raise. Unfortunately, those damages don't get added together. I know. Yeah. So now roll your damage. The first hit is just 2d6 plus 1. So that is... 
coming Ooh, home. That was a horrible roll. That is five. I guess an eleven. It's a horrible roll. Ten. <laughs> and the next one with the raise. That's three d six. That's three d six. I can't Ooh, that's, much, that's much better. Uh, six, ten, fifteen. Plus ah. four. Did plus you four. ace any of those ones? Yeah. There was plus four. Oh yeah, do you uh, do damage I plus one? I aced one of them, yes. Yeah, right, right, you roll right. that on damage? Yeah, you ace damage as well. Oh. Uh, plus another three. All right. And also your that's weapon is one. and your your weapon is two d six plus one, right? That's correct. So add one more onto that. Right. So sixteen. So 15, 16, 18, 19 points of damage on that roll. And, uh, and does adding one help on your first damage roll? No. Okay. Oh, that gives, that gives me a six. Oh, not so much. Okay. <laughs> that shot definitely hits something inside. The thing is moving much slower now. Ah. It's much more wobbly. You might even think it has like three wounds. So maybe we got one wound and two more to go. There is so anything. It's a 12.30. <laughs> I'm just curious. I, it's going to be 12.30 by the time we're done yeah, with this okay. race. So I don't, okay. I don't need to soak. I mean, you, we're going to win. <laughs> it's okay. I don't need to soak. I don't need to kill you. Are you going to move? Race. you got a movement. Dawson's move. He's going to duck down under one of the tables or booths because he's got a reload. All right. Robert. New York, you're up. Uh, Robert will... I don't know if I did prone or not. No, you didn't prone. Okay. Oh, I'm shaking. I need to, oh, I need to roll. You need to unshake. Need to unshake. Unshake, unshake, unshake. It's okay. spirit. I'm good at use toughness on this thing. This round two. Every time we bring yes. toughness, it goes from 14 to 14 to 14 to 14. Robert one, will <sighs> shake in with half of his move. He'll try and kind of. He's going to try and continue his circle around. But I, I'm only at half speed. We're on the top. Yeah, I'm still shaking. I have that. I gotta get him on here. He's annoying me. Alright. You're next to the Wonka fan. Actually, we get this. Are we near each other? I'm dead last. Alright, you done, Robert? Yeah. Trey. Alright. You have to run closer. I look next to. I figure I'm on a weapons tray or weapons uh, table since I just found one. I don't know if they group them together as weapons. Arizona Uh, shouts, I got something for you over here. I can't shoot this thing. Is he, is he close enough that I can get to him this turn? On the table? Is the device that big? Where is he? I put the mouse up. You, you can tell it's imbued with Ghost Rock. And there's a funny pin on it. <laughs> I'm going to grab it. Oh, God, no. I'm standing right next to the thing. <laughs> Do it. Do it. I'm going to assume it's a grenade like piece because I'm going to look into a little repair roll. To see if I understand what it is. <laughs> is the same thing as firing it, looks, it as well? It doesn't it's matter. It's a throwing right? roll. Pull pin. Or. Aim. Or you can run up and place it where you want it and then run away. Well, my throwing is going to be minus two, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. D4 minus two. Do your repair roll first. Make sure you get how it works. Five. Okay, you have a vague idea. You pull the pin it's gonna, and, and you suspect it's going to go boom. I think it's going to go boom. And you suspect you have a short amount of time for the time you pull the pin until it does that. Why did you pull the pin so quick? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, the, the, hole, the hole on the side is pretty good now that um, Dawson opens it up again. Open it up a little bigger. You can probably put the device in there. I'm going to go for a dunk. A dunk <laughs> you're, not, you're not 6'8 in the game, dude. That's right. I'm know. small as my... Uh, yeah. Input. That might be it. Not, that'd be bad. Small frame. All right, give me your agility roll. Some games might remember. You have quickness now, right? I don't have quickness. He okay. doesn't have quickness. He's not quickness. That's a huge deal. He's got Neger, Warren, Wong Fei, and Dawson have quickness. <sighs> Three. Got a Benny? He's going to be using that silver one in a minute. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Send the silver one for the damage roll. I've already pulled the pin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only getting bad news. Oh, explosion. Ooh. Spirit takes the beginning of the round of the turn. Seven. Oh. Seven. Trey runs up there, sticks it, in, sticks it in there. Keep says, running. Bye bye, Robert. One fight. Takes, get, takes one for the team, getting smacked. Mm. If you if you made it with a raise, you've been okay. So his. Uh, so you're running away, and he's hit an opportunity attack. Yeah, call that. Hopefully, my healing potion's still working. <laughs> six, yeah. six. So that's a hit. What's your parry? What's your parry? 
Low. Five. Four. Four. Five to hit. Three. Two. Strength plus D8. Ooh. Toughness is only a four, two. Oh. Small. Good break, bro. This is not good. Do you have any Benny's Eight right now? damage. Mm. Eight What's damage. That's a hit and a raise. That's a wound. Wound and a... Uh, that's a what's, your, what's, your, what's your toughness? toughness? Four. And a hit with a wound. Trey's catapulted across the room. He helps me escape. What about his healing? <laughs> what about his healing? Is that... That's uh, he used. It's a one time. It's a one shot deal. I don't think it's Trey. My system, but get we'll have to see. Trey gets smashed into the bar, which you have to move the screen down a little bit. You see, there's a bar in the bottom right. Don't knock over the liquor. Jeff, give me four d six. Oh my gosh! Hey, you want some d's? I got d's right there. Uh, everybody, d's. 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 I need. Well, I need uh, Arizona, Wong Fei, and Robert to make a duty checks plus one. You saw it coming. Yeah. <laughs> Duck. And cover. What? Well, exploded on both die. Mm, well done. Eight and a six. Forty-six plus what? Too bad. Plus one. Well, your, yours, is, yours is a damage roll. I know. Forty-six plus one. Oh, I had them up. Oh, you. Uh, you no, you. Just, just so use your legendary roll. Any roll. Good. Seriously? I don't want to use your roll. Oh, oh it, you know nice. what? Explosive. Are you doing your damage only yeah, rolls? Damage. What are the odds on what? failing? Nine damage. On a D6 and a D4 three times over. What do you want to see if he has a chip to give you? Who has a chip to give me? You have a chip to give you. I don't want to give my legendary one for this. I'm about to take damage from your freaking. I got a chip for him. You can't, no, you, you can't, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, you can't you have to have command to be able to mm -hmm. do that. It's an edge. Oh. That you know, I've got to fuck you. You asshole. You lose your fucking own shit next time. Now, maybe for that act of sacrifice, you get a chip from the Benny pool. No, <laughs> no, because it's... Right, I'm going to spend a Benny, to get, I'm going to get a Benny for spending a Benny? Yes. That's, I, I like what you, I like where your head's at, Rob, but... All right. Rob, maybe if you added some color to your color. No, I actually gave Benny's out tonight, which is a neutral. I appreciate it. I've got, I've got a trick. That was a six. Oh, yeah, you've got healing potions. Yeah. Twelve. On four D6s? Do I need to give you a goddamn legendary shit, Plus two, because those are my repair roll. <laughs> yeah, you'll get plus two for that. I hate you, Jeff. I hate <laughs> that you. was the damage of the explosion? explosion? That was the damage of the explosion, which is not significant to cause the last one that you did to cause. <laughs> Slow them down. Do you know... Do you, do you realize are firing the pistols and doing more damage than you with a freaking explosion. If he spends his legend trip right now, that does plus <coughs> two to your existing roll. And would make it fourteen, which would then destroy the creature. Use the use the legendary chip to save lives. That's what Bob said. By killing this thing right now, you would save a life. Thank you for wasting my <laughs> Oh, there goes our first legend chip. Somebody use one. So now you're sixteen. Pack Trey packs it in there. The explosion <laughs> goes off, ripping the ripping the Oh actually, top. I take it back. It's actually not just plus two, it's three to six. It's one D six plus two. That would be your final damage, but I'm sure you... We're ripping the creature in half. Uh, everybody who was in range who failed their uh, agility check takes that damage. Eleven. How Did you made your agility check get half? How much so damage what was the damage? Finish? Sixteen. So oh I took God. eight damage. Is that versus toughness? Yeah. Which, so oh, and, I'm, and I'm shaking. Your I'm already shaking. shaking. I've got no... nothing. You're dead? No, no. I've you got no toughness. Well, well, his armor's in effect. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Thank you, G armor. Four. Oh, yeah. Eight. Two. Two wounds. That was good on a raise on that, you, though. You did 16 damage? Yeah, so I got. I was already shaken, so I take two wounds from that. Mm. On my turn, I'm going to... The laser yeah. comes over, pours it in you. <laughs> Boing! Boing! The double, the double dose. Arizona takes one. Oh, no, just, I just need one, because they each have two wounds. Oh. Arizona takes one damage, but trying to play it up. Oh, Mr. Bailey, if you've got another, all these people would lo like to see sure, that. Sure, he, he, he gives you the last of his, the last one he has. He's back up to full. Don't, he's got two, right? I think he had one wound. No, I mean no. two potions. Right. So, courtesy of... Yeah, he had a bigger potion. Your heroics... Don't back up yet, because I have like five minutes to stop. Okay. Oh. No, no, just Cur courtesy of your heroics... Elijah Bailey is announced the winner of the Kansas Scientific Symposium. Which is the demonstration of your of his potions in actual combat <laughs> use by you guys. Uh, projected him over HK Dial, who went to prison for murder for killing several people in there. Oh, I was gonna say, how did they find out about that? For We're the only ones who know. For the, for the record, 
That encounter is supposed to be even worse because Courtney is supposed to come in on the other side. And the spiders that he has, there are warrior spiders that are supposed to come out too, but I can't throw that at you right. I couldn't throw that at you. Oh right. my gosh. What, what level are we supposed to be? That? What was that? What level are we supposed to be? It's, a, it's not like that. Sav mm -hmm. you know, Savage Worlds isn't, isn't yeah. like that. We got to, well, we have to rethink our combat. It's not just point and click. We got to be creative like you guys were. That's the way to do it. I'm only creative because I left myself no choice. <laughs> you don't want me attacking anything. All right, so he, he pays you his, he, uh, I think it was a $40. He's carried off by the shoulders of people. Taking he, our money with him. As he's being carried off, Arizona will help carry him, and he will pull... He, he, he looks back at you guys and I'll see you in the hotel. And Arizona will pick his pocket, helping as he's carried off, as he, as Arizona gets a chance to put his hands sure, on. Sure, go ahead. All right. His pocket, his wallet was in his uh, <laughs> chest pocket. Uh, set, uh, eight. All right, you pull up the piece to his hotel room. Nope. Ah! That's all I need. Well, Faye's gonna uh, punch uh, Arizona. <laughs> ah! Ah! Roll it. No, I'm rolling, buddy. Oh, <laughs> you guys get him first of all. Oh yeah, what is that fighting? Is it time to take somebody's medicine. medicine? Wait, do you know it was me? They're, I they're, they're taking medicine the whole time. I, mean, sure was stealthy. I noticed that my the guy that I talked thing was yeah, I'm not stupid oh, man. Oh, Ghost Rock. I'm gonna start chatting with him. Right. It has nothing to do with the I know it's you. nothing to do with the stealing. It has to do with you. So it doesn't matter. I just want to punch you anyway. Yeah, he's punching me for the ghost rock. Just always wanted to punch you. What is that, fighting? Yeah. Yeah, fighting. Each NPC. Oh, it's only a two. Oh. You take a swing and you, you drunkenly swing at him and this. Yeah, I drunkenly swing at you. And I say, mm. if I ever catch you again with ghost rock, These guys are hard it will be worse. <laughs> I, I or if it wasn't you, it's you. Or you will get it. <laughs> Arizona wisely chooses to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> Next time, my punch come closer. All um, right, so you guys, I assume you head back to the hotel to recuperate. Oh, yeah. Who's it, carrying me back? <laughs> carrying you? Why? You're fine. You just got you a wound. Had, you had a little potion. He gave you half a wound. He gave you half a potion. You'll be up. You're like Indiana Jones when he, just before he gets on the sub. Ever here? The yeah. <laughs> I need up, somebody uh, to help me recuperate. Oh, you need the blonde chick from uh, Last Crusade? I think so. I'll take her over here. At this point, that stuff doesn't matter as well. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, we're looking, I'm, sure I'm looking in his hotel time. room to see if there's anything of interest. Alright, so you all, you all head back to your rooms. Um, we can deal with that later, though. Jeff, that's for you. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, you guys pass the notes in class? Should you read that for the whole class? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Arizona, when you're, uh, you come out of Bailey's room and you can kind of see down the stairs and you see uh, James Hill talking to Silas and you hear something about heading off to Los, An Los Angeles. Who's James Hill? James Hill was the guy who killed Dawson's brother. Oh, right. James Hill yes. talking to Silas. Why did you write the last line? <laughs> I just need to be sure. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, hurt spear. Oh, <laughs> if it's worth mentioning, uh, Arizona did grab that, uh, that bison gun, and he took it with him. Okay, you have no idea how to load her fire. No, we had no idea. He's going to give it a try. Uh, Trey. Robert, Bison Adam, hey, oh. boy. make sure you add the bison gun to your list Come here. of equipment. Wow. Bison gun? Yeah. You know that guy who blew up? I got one of those guns, and I give it to you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you do with that? Is up to you? Uh, for those who are listening hey, or I'm watching right. even, uh, both Trey, Robard, and I want to show the internet without showing these guys. Robert Harris were given... Uh, I don't know how to write that into the right They were given pieces of paper, and now they're kind of grinning devilishly. Oh, yeah. So they have yeah. a secret, but we don't know what it is. I, 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 I am looking at him as if he should be ashamed of himself, but I'm grinning at the same time. Oh, you're so stinky monkey. You're a stinky monkey. You <laughs> are. Yes, you are. I was figuring as much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I gotcha. It's up to you if you want to share what gotcha. happened. Yeah, it's in gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you again. Otherwise, gotcha. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight. Yeah. And Arizona is robbing that hotel room of Baylor. There's, so not, there's not that much in there. You you find uh, a couple hundred dollars. 
Okay. That's Which good enough. probably your pay. It's pretty good. It's not much. Which is probably your pay. <laughs> <laughs> you stole your pay. You stole your pay because when, you when he comes back, he's going to be robbed. Okay. His room will be robbed and he won't have the able to pay you. Is there uh, any people that are uh, homeless in, in the town? There's plenty of derelicts. Can I give my $60 and my pay to the derelicts? There you go. So the derelicts? So we can put that money down? All my pay. I you have to get it from Arizona because Arizona stole all the money from that. Arizona, I want to get paid. Arizona will... Uh, oh, let's say there's enough money to cover your pay. Yeah, okay. He'll, he'll distribute it. Oh, usually. Maybe, maybe there's a little less. <laughs> maybe maybe yeah. there's like half a day less. All right, I got a 40 minute drive. <laughs> All right, and I got to meet my boss tomorrow. Oh boy, <laughs> early AM. You got to get out well, of I here. I hope that was satisfactory, guys. That was, that awesome. was good. That was great. Thank you, Josh. Where to go next? Wong Fei is the damage machine. He'll take it all. Can't do a damn thing, but he'll just okay, punch me. Oh, you take it, all right. If you um, have uh, deflection and I armor on at the same time, yeah. you will be a force to be reckoned with. A chief force to be reckoned with. The next oh, day, Mike, the next day, Trey is the biggest smile I've Mike, take care, man. You've seen him ever. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>